Hello again, friends. Welcome back to twitch.tv slash superberry. Welcome back to the long dark. Where the long road to 500 days continues. And barring disaster, we should creep over the three-fifths line today. <laughs> Which sounds like a, a low bar to be celebrating, because honestly, it is. But still, here we are. Hey, Ruak. Hey, Goofy. Good to see ya. How's everyone doing? How's your Thursday going? Huh. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, honestly, I'm just trying to relax. Because uh, this is going to be another one of those shorter than usual weekends. <laughs> uh, you're only up for half an hour because you have a class, but oh, well, I appreciate you being here, Goofy. Always good to have you. And have a good class, you know, whatever whatever it might be. There's that going good good to hear. Yeah. Um Yeah, we're we're uh just we're still plugging away. Um Yeah, I have to work Sunday and um I have another volunteer thing Saturday morning. Volunteer. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's gonna be like a basically like a half a day weekend for me. Although it, it it's okay because it, well, for one, um, I did kind of sign up for it, but two, um, as I as I found out, um, there is a cap on the number of times you can do this and get a day off in lieu. You can do it as many times as you want, but. You can only do it three times. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. And actually get a full day off. Also, hey, Will. Good to see you. Hope you and yours are doing well. So, yeah, uh, this will be my third time this fisc like, uh, like since, um, Actually, the fourth time I've done it this year, but one of them was in February, so it, that, that technically counted as the previous cycle of 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 leave so you know i think i did like one in one in april one in july one in august and then this one wait no, no sorry no i sorry no misspoke no you know no february july august and then this one right so this will be the last time i can actually get a day off for having to do this now i'll probably still do it i like doing it you know we're it, 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 it's, it's interesting this time. Um, usually we're talking to like, you know, middle school or high school kids who, you know, they, they have very little out experience out there in the world. Cause like, um, you know, very much like an East Asian thing. They, like you're, you, you are there to study. You are there to be a student. You don't get part-time jobs. You know, you don't go babysitting. You're, you're there to learn and get good grades as much as possible. So like the kids who are still in school, Generally, they don't have much work experience. But this time, we're actually working with university students. So, there's a better chance they'll have some, you know, some, at least some experience doing job interviews, uh, you know, being out in the world, making a CV, that sort of stuff. So, maybe we, don't, we won't have to start with all 101, and we can actually get into some of the nitty-gritty. Your people, yeah, it's interesting. Interesting thing, it's like uh, it's it's a group of twenty, but there's only one undergrad, and there's one PhD student. Everyone else is in a master's program, so a bit of an odd setup. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of age distribution we got there. Like how many of them actually have work experience? How many of them you know came there straight from undergrad? I guess well, it'll be a different crowd for sure. So. That'll be neat. And then, yeah, I'll just, I'll just use the second half of Saturday to uh, do whatever. So, not really. Well, I mean, they're, they're, prob they're probably more... They're, they're more so your people than, I would say, people who are like in, still in the midst of high school. Um, uh, In five, five, five years? Are you in a five-year program? 
I thought the U.S. was long in four years. I didn't. Or are you doing like a, a combined bachelor's, master's program? Because I can see how that would take five years. Okay. Um, right. Long dark. Yes. So when last we left off, we were actually we came back to Camp HQ. And the reason for that was we had actually completed Astrid's, you know, big long checklist of finding every prepper cache, finding every unique recipe, and making every unique recipe. Yeah, you know, we started it in in the airfield at Justy's Hovel. Went all the way back to the to uh, Lower Great Bear, wandered all about finding all the things. And we did all that, and we're still only like three-fifths of the way to 500 days. So, um, I actually want to give Astrid a little bit of a break and have her do some fishing. But to do that, we're going to need to acquire resources. And then I think also, we'll also see if we can go about finding, say, the rest of the, that, that one uh, memento cache that we apparently didn't find. And... Maybe we'll try to find all the Polaroids, too. You know, just for fun. Architecture is five years. Okay, architecture is five years. Oh, okay. Did not know that. If you want to do your master's, it's only it's it's one more year other than two. Okay, so that's good. Okay. Ah, yes, there's a <laughs> there's our bearskin bedroll that we uh, we left behind. I, well, I'm sure we have a bear skin somewhere out there, and if we were to tear that down, and then we actually make a bear coat if we needed to, but I don't know that we need to. Okay. Oh, yes, we have a jerry can here. Awesome. Okay. Now, that's important, because if you have a jerry can in your inventory, when you go fishing... Oh, actually, we have one right there. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, yeah, if you, if you have one in your inventory... Um, rather than giving you a bunch of those little itty bitty bottles of lamp oil, it'll just stick it all right in there, which is convenient, if a little heavy, but that's fine. Okay, so if we're going to do that, we want to uh, go out and about in the world and get well, basically a bunch of firewood, because... We're not just going to do a little bit at a time. If we're, if we're going to fish, we're going to heck and fish. I want to stay out there for like multiple days if possible. Um, so we're going we're gonna to need firewood. We're going to need food. And probably some water as well. Definitely more water than that. So we come back here. We're using the uh, the floor-based organizing system here. We get, oh yeah, we, ooh, we have got lots of stuff. Oh right, we uh, oh yeah, we should also make uh, yeah, we should make more fishing tackle. Uh, we're gonna need yeah, we're gonna need um, scrap metal if we don't find any lying about. And, yeah, we, we, we need uh, line from Guts. We need scrap metal to make hooks. We got a couple, but I feel like even with fishing five, uh, there's going to be some breakage happening. There we go. Oh yeah, we can make it. I mean, we can make a lure, but we can make a lure out of the uh, the shell casings. I think so. We might we might be fine there. Anything else we want to whack in there? I don't think so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I will lighten Astrid's load a little bit here, just because we don't need to be carrying out all this stuff, especially like um, that and that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, don't, 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 don't just. Cause you get, we're, we're gonna have to pick up every single one of those individually. I don't, 
I don't relish that thought. So instead, how about we do this intelligently? Also, oh, no, hang on. Hey there. Big thing of flour. I might be using you. We did search that. We did search that. Yeah, let's go ahead and stash some stuff in here just to save time having to pick everything up off the ground. There we go. You just know one of the lure. Oh yeah, one, there is one with. I think there's like there's a, a shell casing, an acorn. I think there's one with uh with wires, and I'm not sure. Oh, I think the other one is just like a basic one. I'll put the arrowheads over there. Don't need to worry about that. Uh yeah, you get no spare clothing. Honestly, I think we need to carry all this around with us. And, oh, hey, Andrea. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. How you doing? How's the Thursday going? Hope you and Dustin and Dante are all doing fantastically. Yeah. Our Astrid here has just come back from a lengthy trip. And so I have decided to give her a bit of a break. And she's gonna do she's gonna do a little bit of foraging, and then she's gonna do some fishing. Because there are there's still some rare fish we have not found. You never see, uh oh you never seen a zero percent go drink. Oh yeah yeah go drinks can spoil, same as anything else. But as long as you don't put them in a container, they won't magically vanish, and you can consume them. I don't think you can even get food poisoning off of them. I've never seen it anyway. Oh also hang on we have so. We have some streamers in the house here. Let me give them the good and proper welcome because I love doing that. I love bigging up other people. It makes me happy. <laughs> Dread. Really? That That's a clip, by God. <laughs> also, hey, Femi, good to see you. Let me show you this dog because she's not that big. It's not big enough to be making all this noise. Come here. Yeah, you never know what kind of clips are going to pop. Uh, this. Are you on screen? Let me see if you're on. There she is. Ooh, a pet assistant Minecraft. Daddy. Even better. She's 18. She's been with me since 2003. She loves her mama. She loves all of her mama again. Yum. Nothing but love for her mama. She won't come when I call her. She runs away if I open the front door. Uh, she bites my face if uh, I come near her. Yeah, she's beautiful. Okay, get away from me. Hey, call. Yeah, pet clips always do well, I think. Is that arch? You can tell that's archery two or archery three. That's a really dangerous way to get it. I did leave some some cattails out there. Well, that's nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're gonna use that. Uh, we're gonna use that fishing hut right there, the most conveniently located one to Camp HQ. Uh, hey, Charizard Revenge, welcome in. Good to see you. How's your Thursday going? And, uh, oh, and thank you for the follow, Charizard Revenge. I appreciate that. Hey, oh, wow. We're up to 299. That That, that is almost, that, that, that is one follower away from a round number. And we love round numbers. They're psychologically satisfying. All right. Hey, welcome back, Ruek. We were just admiring uh, another one of your... Another one of your bear dances. 
Puffy only stream got more views than your all your other stuff that month. Yeah, I can believe that. People people love them some doggos. And some kitties. Uh it'd be going alright. Oh, okay. Going alright, good to hear. Insomnia's been kicking your ass. That is less good to hear. Yeah, that is Yeah, that that is no good. That is uh There's there's four wolves parked right there. My goodness. This really is stalker, isn't it? <laughs> All right, we're just gonna let them do their thing. We need we need to go get firewood. Yeah, sorry your insomnia has been bothering you. It's just I I I I wish I could offer up some kind of something intelligent. I just I don't know anything about about the, I I mean, because you always get those well-meaning people. Oh, have you tried exercising? Or have you tried drinking less caffeine? And it's like yeah, I've, I've yeah, you probably figured that out first thing. Been having very strange dreams lately, Andrea. Is it okay? Are they are they spooky season linked dreams, or are they the, the kind of uh, the kind of strange dreams that we'd rather not have? So empathy is more more useful than advice. Absolutely, yeah. Because yeah, they don't folks don't always need a solution right then and there. Sometimes you just, they just want someone to listen and say, "Yeah, that really sucks." And this is exactly the kind of thing we came to get. I'm going to get five seeds out of that. That's pretty good. And we definitely don't need those. Please and thank you. Hmm, excuse me. You used to go three to four. Used to go three to four days without sleep before. Ooh, oh, I no. Oh. I mean, if it worked for you, okay. But man, that that sounds absolutely miserable. Kind of people suggest less caffeine because you try that and it didn't work. Your body, for whatever reason, just does not like sleep. I no, oh, I do not envy you, Charles. Uh, I mean, as you probably know, yeah, sleep is pretty awesome. If I do say so myself. Okay. I will go ahead and grab the meat off this bad boy. And the hide. We'll leave the... Well, actually, will we leave the guts? Okay, I'll take a gut. Yeah, th this is this is the wolfie we tried to door dash last time, but it ended up getting distracted by a ptarmigan. So, you know. We uh, we had we had to get vengeance for the snow chicken. Uh, distressful. My mouth then appears in them, which makes me inclined to analyze. But she's fine. We're fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. The temptation to analyze your own dreams is is strong, but I don't know how useful it is. I mean, it's. I don't. I, I am. I am not versed in in. Uh, Freud or any of the other uh, uh, people who do that sort of thing for a living, I probably just leave. I w I would probably just say, "Huh, that's weird," and then do all I could to ignore it. See, can you think? Absolutely, yeah, th yeah. Th the long dark is loud and proud Canadian. Okay, and then we drop the wolf meat here from the menu. Because apparently, if you drop it with a three key, as I often do, um, wolfies will just come by and uh, help themselves to a snack. As they, do we do we need guts? I don't think we need them. Are we gonna grab them anyway? Heck yeah, we are. There we go. Uh, the lucky is not trying to be realistic, Canadian wilderness, because the wilderness is not chill despite the temperature. Mm hmm. Yeah, and, and, and it, you know, to Hinterland's credit, they do say up front, you know, we're not going for realism. We're, we're going for, you know, we're trying to give the players an interesting set of choices. Oh, wow, a whole 77 calories worth. I. Well, this, this is Astrid, and her, and her stomach is very dainty, so... 
I can believe she couldn't finish those last 77 calories of pie. Don't they only eat the last one? I don't know that for sure, Femi. That could be the case. Uh, oh, heck, what was I? Oh, right, yeah. Astrid's moving slower because she's got a whole bunch of firewood on her. Let's do something about that. There we go. There we go. Now I got plenty of capacity. And again, because with the Mies, because you can, if you, how can you balance a 10 foot tall megaphone on this quick tanker instead of. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it is hard to believe that the, that the Moose and in this game are somehow underpowered, but I mean, compared to the real thing, they kind of are. Although, if, I mean, if, if they and, and if they wanted to balance the moose, they'd have to put, I don't know, orcas in the game. It's like, what other natural predators do they have? And that is a real thing, by the way. You know, uh, uh, killer whales slash orcas are, are actually some, uh, they, they are, they are, they will regularly eat moose that wander out into the water to feed. Coffee and cookies? Are, yeah, it, it's, uh, it, we're, we're about at noon, actually. But yeah, it's, uh, we are trying to, well, I'm just trying to keep Astrid at least mostly fed, um, because it, it would be deeply embarrassing to have, to lose well-fed Especially with all those big stacks of meat just stashed right outside the door. You did you saw real? Well, I mean, uh, well, you know, you will. Uh, you might just have to go to Canada at some point, Goofy. Go see one for yourself. Uh, Wendy did, and by all accounts, she had a fantastic time. Just, I mean, in, in Canada in general, not just looking at Moosin. They can get that? Oh, yeah! They will, uh... Dang it. <laughs> I'm getting my alien isolation controls and my long dark controls. Because in alien isolation, it's C to crouch rather than control. At the end of the day, there's not many things brave, desperate, or stupid enough to take them out. I mean, yeah, that, yeah, that is that is accurate. Although, if you're if a moose goes wandering into the ocean, then it, it's kind of out of its element in pretty much all of the ways. So, if I if if I was if I was a betting person, you know, I I'd lay odds on the orca in in that matchup on on in that in that arena. Now, you want to put a moose up against an orca on dry land? I take the moose 10 times out of 10. <laughs> I know. Controversial stance by me. Uh, if the moose are so tall, your headlights will not eliminate the body, so you're almost 100% more likely to hit a moose and send it into your car. Okay, can we... Can I use my hand? Yeah, let's, let's use Astrid's hands here. Okay. Okay. Um, we have some coal. Uh, we probably have, I think... Let's see, Cedar give you like two hours each. We have about a dozen, that, that's maybe about a day of fire time. Although maybe a little longer because it's an it's an outdoor fire and because of the, the way the physics work in game, outdoor fires last longer than indoor fires. Because I guess it's cold or 
Coulter or something. I don't know. But, you know, it's, it's one of those things players can use to their advantage, so I'm not going to complain too loudly. Okay. Yeah, we... Oh, yeah. Okay, so if we are going to do that, and we are going to use... And we are going to use that fishing hut there. Um, the presence of four wolves, we're probably going to have to fix that. And now we could do that the non-confrontational way and just pop off a revolver round. Or we could do it the confrontational way and secure a bunch of food and several days of peace and quiet on the ice for Astrid. I think I know which way I'm leaning. And that is a little, if you hit a, hit a moose with your car, you won't hurt it. Worst happen is you land your front, land your front, land in front of your when you're driving. Well, yeah, I mean, if it's, especially if it's standing still and, you know, and car, cars are designed to crumple. Moose, not so much. Moose hunters, when they're in moose territory, take a much larger bore because, I, uh, are, I, are you, uh, are you conversant in the ways of moose hunting, Charizard? It's, it sounds like you are, because that, that is that is a lot of knowledge you're dropping. And I'm not, no, not not uh, not assassin in any, in any way. I, I I appreciate all that, and I I, I can completely believe the uh, <laughs> the moose facts we're hearing. It's just the the uh, the familiarity with the uh, the moose required would suggest one is either a moose hunter or Canadian or both or or maybe they're a moose themselves mm. on the internet no one knows you're a moose That's the, that's the editorial cartoon the New Yorker didn't want you to see. I really just know the hunters take those rifles because the last thing you want, angry stereo deer, and you're Ah, there we go. Canadian was my next guess. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Charizard Revenge. Thank you. And yes, yes, we uh, we love we love our Canadian viewers, e even if it is kind of a kind of at an odd time. You know, when when this stream comes on, for pe Astrid, I was just about to fix that, my dear. Please, for to you know, calm your boots. There we go. Just a little maintenance snack. Nice cup of tea. Nice big box of crackers. Everything's fine. Even got one of those nice purpley orange sunsets that the game likes to throw at us every so often. And you're saying that the Wizard durability is, is underpowered. The Hunter will only serve to make it angrier. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had someone, I, I forget who, because it was a week ago, and my brain doesn't do remembering anymore. I think I, I was in someone else's stream, and they were saying, you know, they said that they heard, so this is at, at best secondhand, that the, the, the quality of life update made it so flare guns don't work on moose anymore, but I don't know that for certain. I hope that's not the case, because if... if, if if Hinterland nerfed that, there's no hope for the rest of us. Also, hey, sir. Welcome in. Good to see you. Um, 
Yeah. Actually, we, we should probably cook the moose meat because, like the the venison and the ptarmigan. If we get some rabbit meat, we can make more Briar House pies. Those things are, as I say, I, I, as I call them, like they're they're meat lovers' pieces in pie form. Wait, what? Why is there a chocolate bar there? I don't remember dropping a chocolate bar there, but okay. Yeah, we'll we'll grab the we'll grab the the uh, the wolf meat. Because yeah, it is late, and we got a big day of murder ahead of us, so we want Astrid to be well up for that. Again, it makes sense. Moose don't really get scared. They, they, they only have the fight instinct. Yeah. Yeah, they, they did very much add the flight instinct in this game, which honestly, I appreciate. Now that you can find a flare shell. Yeah, especially if you're on Loper. Yeah, if you're on Loper, you're, you're, I think you're only guaranteed a single flare shell in all the world. Everything else is RNG. Now, I, I, I was apparently stupidly lucky. I got a whole three shells on the summit. Okay, get a torch. Sticks are fine. So yeah, we'll cook this meat up. We'll get some water going, and then we'll yeah we'll we'll Come on, fire. plan out the events of the morrow, which will more than likely involve a lot of schlepping sticks and firewood and coal, and more than a wee bit of murder. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, so they, oh, the, uh, the little blank spot there actually filled in. I'm not sure I saw that, or I, I, I seen it. They usually stay there. Uh, the theory behind this moves utterly insane specs because much like kangaroos, they had to compete with some cartoonish predators, and those predators either died off or got weaker, and now the moose, the meese, are the apex. I'm no mooseologist, but I can, I can definitely believe that, because like that, you wouldn't, you wouldn't evolve to be that big, that strong, and that nasty without something pushing you to do it. There we go. And all of a sudden, Astra's Tum Tum is nice and full. Uh, do you have all level five skills? Yes, we do, Zert. Uh, we, yeah, that that one of the, that was one of the goals of Achievement Astrid was getting, uh, getting skilled survivor all skills to level five, and yes. There's a what is ice fishing? Yeah, ice fishing five, which we will be deploying. Uh, so it adds twenty five percent to the average fish weight. Nice, fishing time reduced by thirty percent. And then a 1% chance of line break on catch. So, but, uh, <laughs> as anyone who's played Kerbal Space Program or, I don't know, XCOM knows, 1% chances still happen. Actually, any, anyone who watched my, uh, anyone who watched my Loper run knows that. Because I, <laughs> uh, that Astrid had a 1% chance of getting buttworms. You know, 99 out of 100, she'd be just fine. She only ate the one piece of wolf meat. And then 23 hours later, she, she lost that 99% roll and had to spend, what was it, 20 days? Yeah, 20 days dealing with uh, non-consensual friends in her gut. That was I was uh, I was not a happy bunny at that at that time. Uh, as you see a moose picture, it looks like it's gourd. So it probably hasn't. Roosters need to lose their horns and grow new ones. 
Shot the horns are dead. They grow a, th a thin skin layer around the horns. They solidify, and they eventually tear off with trees and whatnot. Okay, yeah, they, they get full use out of the trees. I can definitely believe that. But yeah, it, it would... Yeah, the, the horns would have to be very... Yeah, the, 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 those horns aren't... Ne yeah, the antlers aren't necessarily made for goring. I mean, they'll still mess you up, but goring... That they, they, they would have to be shaved just so, I, I believe. Well, okay. No, actually, let's go ahead and use this. Because when we, when we go fishing, we are going to get a fair bit of lantern fuel, so I don't mind using a bit here. Uh, the Australian domesticate moves... And you know what? I can believe that, because in the U.S., someone had the bright idea to try to domesticate hippos. I guess they, 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 they felt they would be a natural fit for like the swamps in Louisiana and, and, and other such places. Um, I guess they, they would eat some invasive species. But the... Uh, <laughs> um, shockingly enough, hippopotami... Hippopotopos? I don't know. Hippos. They didn't take kindly to be trying to be domesticated. Oh, 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 heck. Okay. Well, I'm a dum-dum. All right. Actually, just do it. We have fire starting five. We're guaranteed. Just do the thing. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, yeah, just give me a replacement torch. That'll do. Okay. Um, anything else we want to do last minute before we put Astra to bed? I don't believe so. Hmm. When did her snow pants get that messed up? Uh, I, oh, I th yeah, there was there was probably a wolf attack on the way back. That's fine. We can work with that. Uh, a lot of people died of hippo attacks. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, yeah, I think there was, there was at one point there was, there was, uh, you know, there was talk going around the internet that uh, it was in, uh, in Swaziland, which is now Eswatini, and there were people saying that the uh, the leading cause of death there was hippo attacks. And I thought, well, that was weird, so I thought I'd look it up. Nope. AIDS. But I guess that, that sort of thing is easier for some people to believe. Uh, oh, yeah, it, it is still quite dark. Yeah, okay. You know, that dark, but light enough to do some clothing repairs. All right. Anyway, there we go. That's what some visibility looks like. Okay. Uh, so, especially with buffalo, people tried to crossbreed buffalo with a cow. I, I mean, okay, but why? Ooh, we got scrap metal. Hey, nice. We don't have to go looking for it. We can make some hooks out of that. Yes. Oh, we got some down there too. Awesome. We can move that downstairs. Also, hey Oliver, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hope your Thursday is going well. Hope the uh, hope the uh, parental intrusion over the weekend wasn't too horrifying. Um, actually, yeah, do give me that. I want those. You can keep those. Okay, 
That's fine. Uh, buffalo are more winter resistant. Why? So they can have cows grazing in the winter? What, what would the cows graze on? I, I don't I don't follow. I, I'm, sh I'm sure it made sense to someone. The truth is, hippos, if you see one swimming, it's not. They're too heavy to swim, and if they just, they run full speed on, on yeah, they, uh, oh, no, they probably displace enough water that they actually, the, uh, it'd be quite the sight. No, yeah, yeah, that, that's, yeah, hippo, hippos are, I mean, as, as, as is, is that, oh, oh, okay, the, uh, I think one of our wolf pelts is clipping through the to the table there. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Um, yep, and it's probably that one right there. Yeah, hippos are not something to be joked about, especially when when you're in the vicinity of one. Um, what are we doing? All right, we are gonna yeah, we're gonna make some hooks. Do it. Yes, there we go. Nice, and then we'll grab. I don't know. Can do we? Can we spare some guts to make some fishing line? I don't know. For a little tight. Uh, they might be starting to learn. Really, they can. They can be taught. How about that? You see, you're second. They're figuring out. They're figuring out that they might be the problem. Mum was especially being nicer as of yesterday. Well, I mean that's that's a welcome improvement. Um, hopefully it sticks. Oh, we can't bulk craft. Well, that's annoying, but fine, I suppose. But no, I I am. In all seriousness, though, Oliver, I I am glad that your parents have you're starting to come around and actually see you as a full fledged human being, with autonomy and a life of your own and etc. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. This is the one we want. Uh, so we have the revolver shell casings. We have the crow feathers. We can actually make two. Uh, well, we uh, we also need scrap metal. Well, gosh. Well, no, hang on. That, we, we can get one of those. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have a hacksaw just sitting right there. In an easy condition one, too. Now we just need to find uh, find a thing made of metal that we can hack down. And apparently, the laptop doesn't count. Um, I mean, this is fine. If well, I'm, okay, I'll tell you what we could do. I mean, we could <laughs> we could s further suspend disbelief and have Astrid just tear up a cooking pot with her bare hands, <laughs> which is apparently a thing she can do. Yeah, she, she can tear apart a cooking pot or a pry bar with her bare hands, but she has to have a knife to, to take down a pillow. What sense does that make? Who cares? <laughs> okay. Um, and you know what? I, do I have a pot in my inventory? I do. Okay. Well, if that's the case, yeah, because we already have... I got one in my inventory, and we got two of them upstairs. This will come in handy. Don't get ahead of myself. Well, I, I can, I can hope, Oliver. We can always hope. Yeah. So, for for an hour and a half of Astrid's time, she can get one, one. You know, a kilogram of cooking pot yields a single piece of scrap metal but a uh, a metal bucket will get you at least two how does that work again don't think about it <laughs> okay well we only got one but i think we'll only need one yeah, so, so you can make a simple fishing lure with just the scrap metal, or 
you can go fancy. And then we can make it, we can uh, do the solid enticing lure. Okay, might help you attract a few more fish or improves the odds when fishing. So I guess they're implying that this is better at the job than the simple fishing lure. Okay, so we'll just we'll, we will proceed as though all is fine there. We got our lure, and we can go ahead and put that back in there. Will that fit? Barely, but it'll fit. Oh, we, we have a spare hook too. All right, there we go. And we have we have five sets of pristine fishing tackle and a lure. Now, unfortunately, the uh, the condition of the fishing tackle doesn't matter. Like it, it can be at 100%, it can be at 1%. It either snaps or it doesn't. So, kind of a bother there, but you know what? We'll just deal. No, too bad you won't believe any changes of true until you go out with them and you don't... Okay, yeah, that, no, that's... That is perfectly fair, Oliver. You, uh... You, you have definitely earned the right to your skepticism. Okay, so now having done all that, uh, we're going to go to our fishing hut of choice, which is the one right ahead. You know, there's no sense wandering off any farther than we have to. And we're just going to start, actually, let, let me go back and grab just some of that firewood. And we can dump that outside. Not all of it, of course, because we did, we did get quite a bit. Where are we at? Okay, just, yeah, just give me... At least give me the fire, the, no, the, the game, game. Why, why am I, why am I grabbing sticks that are quite clearly underneath the fire? <laughs> oh, Hinterland, you and your hitboxes. Okay, that's all of that, and we are... Eh, we're only 8 kilograms over. It's fine. It's fine! It's fine. So yeah, we'll mosey over. We will we'll drop off the fishing lures, and uh, the, the, the tackle, the lure, the firewood, some of the water, and then, yeah, I've already... I've, yeah, I see one wolf, two wolf, three wolves... Yeah, in, in the... Actually, to save future Astrid some headaches, I think we'll go ahead and make the neighborhood just a wee bit safer. The question is whether we can do that both... Or we can do that after lightening her load, or whether the neighborhood toughs are going to come introduce themselves beforehand. Given where their patrols are taking them, uh, but no, we, we, we might be able to sneak in there. Yeah, there's one, two, three, and then the fourth one has wandered off all the way down there. And now it's wandered back. Well, heck. Yeah, this is pretty much the way I figured it would go. So we're going to make sure he's away from his friends. We'll draw, walk backwards. And broke my arrow. You naughty, naughty little doggo.
All right. You're going to do some weird pathing because of the hut. Are you serious? I, I let go. I, I just... I let go of the of the arrow before it got into to attack range. What the hell? <sighs> All right. Okay, we we should probably move away because yeah, the, I think the the hut is messing with her pathing. There, that's how it should have gone. Uh, yes, <laughs> it, it, it's okay. You know, Ru Ruek's timing was fine. My timing was off. Okay. You said the moment that the air was loose already. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Although, let, let's be honest. Animals acting weird, especially in the aftermath of an update. Not all that surprising. Okay, there's seven kilograms of firewood there. Okay, and we'll pop in here. What's it? Oh. <laughs> spray paint. Game, stop trying to make spray paint happen. All right, there we go. No, we want to keep the jerry can on us. So when we, when we do catch and cook those fish, all the uh, all the spoils can go directly into the jerry can rather than creating a whole bunch of those single little, uh, little containers of lamp oil. Uh, wow, okay. So we had a firewood. We have our fishing tackle. We have our fishing lure, of which we only need one. And first fish we catch is probably going to get made into bait, just to kind of accelerate the process here. And if we need food, well, we have at, we have probably at least 12 to 15 kilograms of wolf meat just sitting right there. Uh, surely, after the update is kind of always kind of now they are making regular additions. I mean, yes, we are always we are always in the aftermath of an update in a chronological sense. You are absolutely right, Oliver. But you know, if we're if we're in the aftermath of an update that has demonstrably made the animals uh, jankier, I. <laughs> It just, again, maybe it's me. It feels like that's uh, uh, noteworthy. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Well, it just might be able to help you with that, Astrid. Just need you to drop it a little bit closer to where we want to be. Like here. There you go. That's the stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the hides because, you know, making a wolf coat at some point in the future would be nice. Um, we'll leave the guts because, as, as we saw earlier, I think we're okay there. Yeah, we'll, we will stack up the wolf meat. Just checking real quick. Uh, wow, that's only three and a half kilograms. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, I feel like that's always sort of a uh, sort of always. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you're not wrong. And I was in some, you know, some updates add new issues, and other updates, well, they they are you know, the updates they just pass over issues that we know exist just don't seem to get fixed.
that's for watching because you haven't played the three of PCs. Yes, you didn't first. No, that's fine. No, that, that, that's your. Honestly, Oliver, it is. <laughs> and again, as much as we love Hinterland, and we do, we love and respect them, and we, you know, we. <laughs> If given the chance, we will definitely throw more money at them for this property that we all love. Um, but yeah, the the animals not necessarily functioning the way they should is kind of a perennial thing. But yeah. Oh yeah. How is um how is your card making going? I think I know. Uh, uh, last weekend, you said you had you you made a you know a pretty decent sale. Someone who liked your art, and then I, they actually wanted to put it up rather than you know sending it out, and then just show it off to people, which is really super cool. Soul for more. Hey, congratulations! That's awesome. Uh, now, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but do you, uh, oh, right, um, so, do you have an idea how many cards you need to sell to, uh, to, uh, fund the PC repairs, at, at least g given the quote you've received so far? I see the demon up there. How much venison do we have sitting out here? Uh, that's actually a pretty decent amount. That's quite a bit, actually. Uh, you got a quote 120 quid. Selling them at three per. Okay, so 40, 40 cards. All right. I, I, I'm not one of those math magicians, but even I can figure that out. Well, yeah, that, that's good, though. It sounds like you're well on your way. Uh, you sold about se 70 quid worth. Wow, that's a great start. So a little less than the same again. Yeah, you're, you're, you're in good shape. And also good on the people buying them, actually get, getting their, you know, getting some holiday shopping out of the way in October. <laughs> that's def that's uh, definitely the wise thing to do. You say to cross the halfway mark? I, I can imagine so, yeah. And then you're early on, you, especially that those kind of, you know, longer term uncertain projects, you know. You're going in not knowing, you know, what kind of interest, if any, there is. And then to find out not only is there some interest, there's actually a good deal of it. You know, that's that's very heartening to hear. Okay, I hear carrying. Nope, nope, those are not carrying crows. Those are just traveling crows. Well, boo. Also, is that... Is that Bun Bun in the ground? That Bun Bun has gone subterranean. That's cheating. It's it's doing what the Ptarmigans in Ash Canyon did. Trying to get away from Astrid by hiding itself in the crowd. Well, we can't have that, can we? This pack is getting kind of heavy. Well, let's... Let's see if we can do this the old-fashioned way and get some get some bunny booping, rather than having to use condition on our on our bow. The bun buns too. Yeah, we, we've seen bun buns. We've seen ptarmigans. I I like what the. Well, as I was gonna say, what's next? Like, will, will the deer be hiding underground? Although, if you believe Q, they might already be doing that. If you wait till it is the season, you don't have you don't have time to 
make however made the order to get them sent. Yeah, so the, you know, the more lead time you have, the better, definitely. So you kind of have a cutoff in mind. So most of your orders have been from the U.S. You have to have a cutoff and take... Oh, right, and then sending stuff postally. It'll... Yeah, that's an adventure. End of this month. You can send a mid-November latest. Oh, right. Local orders, you can take a little bit into November, but even not that close. Okay. Oh, wow, so is, is the post office even, like, within the U.K. kind of struggling? In shipping internationally, I can understand, because like, it's a, uh, it's diabolical here too. Like, uh, Koru said, "Wait, is that okay?" Now the bun bun is hiding in a rock. No, it's hiding on a rock. Okay, that's just that's just a whole lot of cheating. But yeah, is is shipping within the UK a kind of Kind of messed up as well. Okay, what? Where? Where is this? Okay, now it's. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the rat. The rabbit's moving. We need to get the people who might want to turn. Okay, so you, you got to give them time to send things to. Okay, that makes sense. Good. So good. You. You clearly. You know, thought giving this a, a thorough thinking through. Okay, well, that obviously didn't work. I wonder if I can drop any of this here. Astrid, it's a rock. Come on, girl. You know, there, Astrid, there are pies at stake. We cannot be futzing about when there are pies on the line. Okay. And speaking of deliciousness, it's a dot raid! Dot, hello! Fevers, how you doing? Kenithian, hey, hello, hello. Axagoras, how you doing? Will, acknowledge your presence. <laughs> hey, dot. Hey, raiders, welcome in. Good to see you all. Yeah, how was, how was the rest of Stardew Valley? Um, how, how, how is your, your making virtual friends? Like people's the start of December? Sure. Makes sense. Ear flapping around your dog in the 90s, Ruak? When he's running in the wheat fields, you can only tell by the ears flapping over, over the wheat. Oh, that must have been a sight. Very relaxing. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. You still hate everyone, but they love me now. Well, that's, that's the way to do it then, isn't it? But let's, let's go ahead and give Daunt a proper welcome. Oh, a red dead clip. This is, this is a while ago. Hey. <laughs> exactly. That, that, that's how you can... Mark the oh my time god, and my street. left and right hair. triggers, I just... And also, because Fevers has joined us. It, there's definitely a danger. Like, bigger is not always better. Okay, short clip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Fevers. Um, at some point, I am gonna have to ask you, like, how how you how you go about, you know, working with your your little, uh, PNG tuber setup there. You know, for no particular reason. You didn't know that was clipped. Yeah, that that is that does seem to, that seems to be how most people find out what clips have been made of their channel. You know, they they come in and someone else plays it. Uh, bigger than better, but that's helping you need to reach top shelf things. That, yep, absolutely, Dazzle. Gotta eat, got any food? Yes, please go, yeah, please do, you know, hydrate, snackinate, caffeinate, do whatever you, whatever post-stream self-care you need to do. 
But thank you all for thank you for bringing everyone here, Don. And, and anyone who came in with Don's raid who doesn't know me, hi. I am Trooper Barry. I'm a call myself a, a long dark slash variety streamer. I play about 50% long dark, 50% other various and sundry indie games here. Uh, right now we're uh, this is uh, my long run on the on the long dark. I think we started started the stream. 295 days in we're trying to get to, to 500 days it's the last steam achievement that i have not got so we're about 60 percent of the way there and then oh, we're also in the midst of playing through alien isolation which is a game i uh i was bullied into playing by chat please please turn around bun bun this is weird enough as it is uh, easiest thing in the world to send a happy doll. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Fevers. Thank you. Now, well, I might as well take might well take you up on that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, Bun Bun. Here's the thing. Now, I know you were just going about doing your Bun Bun business. But you were also breaking the world. I don't know if you noticed. But you were there clipping through the terrain just flagrantly. Hither and yon. And we just can't have that kind of behavior here on Great Bear Island. So, trust me when I say, this is going to hurt you way more than it hurts me. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oh, yes. They, well, if you want to do it directly, Fevers, yes, you do have to look the bun bun in the eyes. Now, there's a way around that. You can, uh, There are also snares you can make where you just leave them out and then the bun buns will run themselves into those and snap their own necks. I don't do that because one, it uses up uh, valuable materials and two... Um, there's a feat you can get where, like, if, if you snare 100 rabbits, you can, there's a, there's a, one of your in-game feats, like one of those things right there, the little, the little mini buffs you can get, that makes your snares 200% more efficient. But in my now 700 plus hours of playing the long dark, I have snared exactly one rabbit. And just seeing that 1% there, it, 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 it seems hilarious to me, so I'm just not going to do it. Yeah, don't, don't you go eyeing my meat there, dear. That might look like food to you, but no, that's, that, that's mine. That's, that's all mine. And if you get too close, you're going to add to my collection. So just, you just, you go do your herbivore thing over there. Oh, da damsel, damsel, this disturbs you? That any better? <laughs> I know Oliver. She ha she hasn't seen Mountaineer's Hut. I, th I think Damsel's head would explode. Well, Damsel, if 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 you know if Great Bear Island hadn't run out of ketchup chips and Stacy's grape soda, we wouldn't have had to resort to this. So, you know, if, if you think about it, it's really Great Bear's fault for not giving Astrid what she needs to survive. You're going to focus on... Uh, okay, okay well, I'll, I'll tell you what, Damsel, before, before you run off, as, as by way of comp compensation, let me... Let everyone know that you too stream here on Twitch.television. I fucked myself, I fucked myself, I fucked myself. Stupid ass. 
<laughs> it's an interesting way to decorate your place. Well, okay. Now, now Fevers, there is a reason for this. Um, so if, if you look here, you see, so that says cured. That says only 26% cured. And see, like cured, 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 curing. So you, you can use cured guts and hides in crafting. You can make clothing. You can make uh, you can make tools, etc. But they have to cure, and they have to cure in an indoor spot. So more often than not, I will just distribute them on the floor, and then let them do their thing. And then when they're cured, I might end up stashing them in a drawer somewhere. But if they're all out here. I, I, I have a I have a visual reminder that I have them. Otherwise, I'll just if I put them in a drawer, I'm gonna forget that they exist. You thought you removed all your clips? Aw, damsel, why would you do that? I, I, I okay, I, I say that jokingly. I I know, but I want I, I want you to know that you are you are loved and respected by all. Except for that, that that one jerk. Their method, method to the madness? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, here it's a visual reminder. Um, at the aforementioned... Yeah, at the aforementioned Mountaineer's Hut, it's simply because there's... There's one... I think there's one... A little little cupboard in which you can store stuff, and and, and those, the cupboards all have limited storage capacity. So once those fill up, um, you just you gotta leave stuff on the floor or on a desk or out in the snow. On the first DMCA stuff that's happening, you're like you don't know where you have music, just remove it all. Ah, oh, okay, that, that, that makes sense. Uh, let me check real quick. What do we need to make a briar house pie? As we need flour, oil, those are indoors. We need half a kilogram each of venison, rabbit, and ptarmigan. Let's see how big is that? That is okay. Nope, that's not big enough. But that is good. Okay, that is almost big enough for two. And then we need a kilogram of venison. This pack is getting kind of heavy. That'll do. Ooh. Oh, okay. We we could have an aurora on our hands. We need to be careful. Appreciate the shout out. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. This is my pleasure, damsel. I, I don't, and I'll say. If you if you'd rather I not, j just say so, and I will knock that shit off. Just was the intro to Spooderman Two. Oh, the game, not not the uh, not any of the movies. Okay, can I get you to hang out right there? Oh, wait, wait, wait! I saw green. I saw green. Don't, don't toy with my heart like this game. Let me have this. Yes. Yeah, the game. Cool. Okay. Uh, oh, the, the, the frog emotes are too adorable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fr fr there are some, there are some top quality frog emotes out there. Uh, the one by Art by Zvesta. Okay, not familiar with that one. I was, I get all my, uh, frog emotes from Ios, who just has a, quite the variety of them, I must say. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, did I? Did I not? Oh, I did. I didn't actually. I didn't drop the sticks at the fishing hut. Although that's fine. I'm now we, fire. now we have them to make this fire. Hooray! There we go. I would just like you to make a whole bunch of water. And then I want you... Let's make a briar house pie. Now we could make two, except we're, we're 0.9 kilograms of rabbit short. Ah, well. Yes, thank you, Oliver. That is, uh... I am... I am... I'm more proud of that than I should be. <laughs> okay, uh, what is this? Yeah, so we still got half a kilogram of venison and ptarmigan, and I guess that rabbit is just going to have to be a thing. But that's fine. So yeah, we're not going to do like I did in Milton. And then accidentally forget I had meat on me during an Aurora because the recipe only used a certain amount. We're going to come out here. One, two, three. Let me just spread those out so I don't forget about them. Now we'll come over here. We definitely don't need all that cooking oil or that flour. Yeah, it's like a kilogram and a half of flour, which is a remarkable amount, I gotta say. I mean, it's great because you get lots of uses out of it. It's just that's a whole lot of stuff to be lugging around. You guys have to go in bowls before and felt all proud, and then you like, says, and you found it was like on the top, floating as a ball of lint. Oh yeah, though. Yeah. <laughs> Just you just it crushes the illusion. You hate you hate it when that happens. Okay, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Look at that thing. Gourmet bright house pie, a pie any meat eater would love. Lunchbox ready, which is weird because that's well, it's a, it's a third of a kilogram. I don't know what you, I mean, would you just put it in there like that, or would you, would you wrap it up in something? I don't know. But yeah, this is going to give us extra max condition temporarily. Lower our max stamina. Uh, Im improve our fatigue? Or, or, or no, like maybe it's improved rest, I don't know. But it, it also it removes cabin fever, but we don't have any, so it's fine. But most importantly, it is 2,100 calories. Now, for an everyday, like for us, that would be a day's worth of calories. But for our Wilstred, it, it, it's only like, you know, two-thirds of a day. Okay, so there's still yeah, about 600 calories. The guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Astrid, that will never not sound crazy. Stop it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get some more water going here. Because we, we do need to make some, so we're not... So when Astrid does do her little, little fishing expedition... You know, she, we, we don't want to hear her doing the... I mean, her little lip-smacking thing, which is... Just absolutely maddening. Okay, we have just we have just shy of an hour, so we can probably get I don't know another half liter, let's say. Maybe another half liter? Yeah. Gonna do a bit of some lurking while you finish up work. Okay. No worries, feathers. Appreciate you having you. Appreciate having you about. Take that. Take that. Yeah, okay, and then, then that's ours. So we're going to grab that. And I'll undo all my good work. And put the pot back where it's supposed to be. Ah, oh, well.
Okay. And then we will give her her... Drop any of this fear. You're going to drop yourself right on that bed, woman. And you're going to like it. Tim is in a big sigh, followed by a loud moo. <laughs> Sitting beside a moose. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, it is... Okay, it's just past daybreak, so it's going to be quite cold out there, but that's fine. Can we finish that? We can finish that. Good. Because that would give off a stink. Okay, yeah, we're, we'll, yeah, the, yeah, the reduced max carrying capacity comes from gorged. But because it was, it wasn't the full thing, you can see that's draining away real quick, like, which is good. Yeah, I think you, you have established, Oliver, that Tim does, you know, Tim does on occasion evince some moose-like qualities. Okay. Yeah, I can still see the uh, still see the bodies of those doggos out there. That's good. Hey, have you been to Nog's chat when you played your Tim set? I possibly. I don't know for sure. I know I've been in Nog's chat at the same time as you, but I don't. I don't know that I've ever heard that sounder. I do know that I came up with my own. And that goofy kindly clip for me. But I think that, that was that might not have been a, a, a fair representation of what Tim sounds like. Or maybe it was, I don't know. You know, I'm not here to speculate. Okay. Oh, good. Yes. I, I wondered. I was wondering what I did with all that wolf meat. It's right there. Okay. Lovely. And okay, we got our piles of stuff. We'll drop most of those there. And then, um, actually, I'm gonna. Okay. Yeah, that's got 15 kilograms. That's fine. There we go. Yeah, it'll do. Okay. So, let's see. We have firewood. We have some food. We have water. I should probably move this just so it doesn't get in the way of any fun shenanigans like so there we go um if you would accept a discord dm you can send you the sound clip file now um hang, hang on have you have you sent a dm oliver i can pull that up right quick um Oh, but yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and just, yeah, you don't ever deal with that. Okay. Yeah, 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 go ahead and send it. Um, and then I will, I will definitely give that a, give that a listen. Uh, what are we, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I can't think of what. We got, we have our fishing tackle and the lure and water and food and Firewood. We have, okay, we have our jerry can. Good, we wanted that. We have cooking implements. What do we, we want to use? Um, 
Well, we, we don't have any we, we don't have any oil or flour, so there's no sense using that. We might as well just drop the cooking pot there. So if we do make water, we can just make a lot of it. Oh right. Okay. Just there. Now can we can I? Oh come on. Come on, game. Okay, first can we put it there? We <sighs> Did Hinterland patch out being able to put your bedroll on the on the on the shelves <sighs> I swear these these people just they patch the most ridiculous things and then they leave the most ridiculous things in invalid location to post on nonsense nonsense Raph I blame you You've ruined everything. Fine, I'll put my bedroll on the ground. Call. Also, we're actually cold. Ooh, how about that? I just... Of all the things to quote-unquote fix, not the animals, not cabin fever... Nope. It's, it's, it's just that, that one little bit of dopamine hit, being able to put your bedroll on a shelf as you sleep in a fishing hut. It, dang it! <laughs> I don't understand these priorities. Okay, just just a touch more, just a, just a, a wee little teensy bit more wood. Also, I can I can see the bear going about its business all the way down the other end of the lake, and let's be honest, that's the best place for a bear to be, way the heck away from us. Better for them. Better for Astrid. Okay. Yeah, and then though those fur limbs will will give us a uh, give us some good burn time. Let's see no other firewood hanging about. Probably not. Okay. Um. Okay. So part of the reason we're going we're gonna let Astrid take a nice break and have some fishing is um, in the uh, Frontier Comforts update, which was like the one that added all the new cooking mats and the recipes and whatnot. Um, they also added several new fish. Uh, in addition to the four that were in the game already. Now we've caught the extra, the new saltwater fish with the, uh, with a, well, there's the rockfish, which you actually need for one of the recipes, as well as the red Irish lord, which cats helpfully clipped my reaction to. Uh, but we have not yet caught the two new freshwater fish, so that is something I would like to do, and as well as you know restocking Astra's supply of lantern fuel, which uh, the fish are the they're the only renewable source. You can find lantern fuel out in the world, but obviously no one's making any more. But every time you cook fish, you get a little bit more. And as I was saying earlier, you can either get it in little drips and drabs and 
get in the each in each of their own little individual containers or unforgettable experience the chamberlain Ooh, someone actually filled in their cairn well that's nice but yeah you can get them all in individual containers or if you have a jerry can on you when you when you cook the fish all the fuel will, or all, yeah, all the lantern fuel will go in there which is real handy Yeah, it saves you a lot of hassle, you know, scrolling through your inventory to get this, that, or the other thing. There we go. Leave that behind. That did kind of feel like a risk. Can we have in the, uh, Knowing the bear was out for its, uh, its usual constitutional in Astra's general vicinity, but she was hidden behind the hill. So, and if the bear was going to wander all that way and then see Astrid up on the hill, well, there's all you can really do is just tip your hat to the bear and say, "Well played." Okay, um, just see if there's any feathers, but there. Weirdly, they, yeah, the, the yeah the crows are usually so quick to find the corpses Astrid leaves behind, but these three apparently not. Feels a little disrespectful, if I'm honest, but you know it's fine. It's fine. I I don't feel slighted on Astrid's behalf. No. Don't know why you'd even say that. Okay, so yeah, you got very white. Um. Balls also kind of foggy, which might explain why it actually feels warm. I was kind of hoping for a blizzard, because, well, mostly because fishing huts are a great place to ride out blizzards, again, as long as you have the resources, and we kind of do. Now, this isn't like an epic like week long exercise I, I probably save that for when we're much deeper into the run like when all we need all we're really interested in doing is just passing time but for now this will do actually let, let's let's start with the uh, let's start with the hole There we go. And actually, if we don't need it, and currently we don't, let's save the fire starting materials. Breaking the ice to get in the hole. That is, that is factually accurate, William. Okay, and we're gonna use yeah, we're gonna use our fishing lure. We don't have any bait yet, but if we get a good bait fish, we'll just we'll uh, tear it up and use that. Okay, perfect. Ooh, two smallmouth bass. Nice. And a freshwater. A uh, uh, couple whitefish. Nice. Okay. Okay, now let me see where are we at. Yeah, I'm actually going to... Yeah, so now you can actually go to actions and you can harvest bait... I was gonna say, oh, but let's let's step out and then make sure we don't get tracked. A actually, I was gonna say, well, there's no wolves to do it. No, but there is a bear, and I don't know how keen his sense of smell is. So just in case, I'm gonna drop those bass there. Those bass will be Astrid's dinner. But the whitefish, I'd actually like to use make bait out of those. Because from what I understand, using the bait will increase our odds of getting the uh, the rare fish, which are the ones we're really after. 
There we go. So give me give you one of those. Well, we're going to do something about that, Astrid. Just, just call it. Ooh. Right. So now we'll do our, our little, uh, little exchange where we will go to cook the bass. That's going to take an hour and a half. And then we'll go ahead and fish for an hour using the lure and using the bait. Hey, there we go. Fresh gold eye. A small freshwater fish will eat almost anything it can swallow. Okay, until burned, that means it's cooked. Awesome. I'll grab that other big old bass. Drop that there. I'll let that cook. And we'll drop them there. It's got 45 minutes, so we should be able to use this for an hour. Again, we'll use the lure and the bait. Another gold eye. Another gold eye. Another gold eye. Okay, maybe it's not quite as rare as I th Oh, god dang it. I'm an idiot. That's, that's... Oh, that's twice this stream I've done that. Shows you where my attention is. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Come on, little fire. Come on. Astrid, it ju it just came on. Trust me. There. Okay, so that's got 44 minutes. So again, one hour should be fine. Nope, no, no. There, there. There we go. Also, hey Mel, good to see you. Welcome in. How's your day going? Okay, so this is we got an aurora on our hands instead. Ooh, pretty. Also, I should probably not let my, my fish burn. Five hundred calories. Wow, those things are small. Yeah, the white fish has got seven hundred. Okay. Uh, okay, good cup of tea. No worries, Oliver. And yeah, yeah, please do get the card making going. Working not bad so far, still is it? Oh, okay. Well, good to hear. Also, let's let's give Mel a uh, proper welcome. There we go. Is it? Oh, good. More moose content. We love moose content. Nope. Oh, expertly giving the moose the slip. Well done, Mel. There we go. I don't, I'm doing all right, Mel. I appreciate you asking. I, uh, I'm just, I, mostly I'm just trying to take it easy. You know, this is, uh, this weekend is unusually short for me. Um, 
it's actually it, norm. Uh, it's normally I get two day weekends. Sometimes I get one day weekends because we are still short staffed at work. But uh, this weekend happens to be like a half day weekend because I'm also spending the uh, the first half of Saturday at a at a volunteer event. Or uh, help on a bunch of university kids with like uh, work on like job interview skills, making CVs, that sort of thing. So I basically have I basically have the back half of Saturday to myself, and then I work Sunday. Now you know Sundays are generally lighter at work, so it's, it's not that bad. But yes, it's not ideal. Half a day, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not thrilled. But you know what? It's, you know, it's it's no one's fault. It's just, you know, we had people and then they left, and then we brought in one person we thought was a great replacement, and she found a better job. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna begrudge anyone that. Okay, we've got five hours there. Good. Um, actually, let's go ahead and have you make a whole mess of water. And then we'll have Astrid fish for two hours, let's say. Using the lure and bait. But yeah, it, it, it's not ideal. I, 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 am, I am told we might be making progress on finding someone to come in and, and lend a hand, which would be fantastic. Um, ho hopefully, hopefully the boss is telling the truth there, and it's not just, <laughs> not just. He's just saying that to help keep morale up. But we'll see. You know, if it's. If it's true, awesome. And if you know if this continues for well, basically, if if it continues until I'm done, I'm done with my lease. Well, then maybe I'll be persuaded to start looking elsewhere. Also, how much bait do I have? We have we have two more pieces of bait. Okay. Yeah, we 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 found we found one new fish. Uh, we haven't found the other one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I, 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 we just I'll keep my eyes open, but I think part of part of what concerns me is there's no uh you know, even if I don't even if I do start looking, there's there's no guarantee there's going to be good opportunities out there to find. Okay, bass, good. Because I, I have, I happen to work in an industry that is, well, <laughs> kind of on its last legs. Yeah, this pack is getting kind of heavy. How much water do we have? We got five liters. Okay, that's that's a bit much. Maybe we do something about that. But yeah, but no, it, it's fine. Yes, yeah, so if. I, I will say, as as suboptimal as it is here, I I have been through worse. So, you know, I don't mind sticking around. Because because as much as I complain, you know, that the you know being here does afford me, you know a. Uh, a certain lifestyle, you know, what, you know, in particular one I can spend, you know, hanging out in people's Twitch channels and and supporting them, which I love to do. And if I was, <laughs> if I was somewhere else, that might not necessarily be an option.
you know, I, I might have to make sensible decisions. And who wants to do that? You know, I, I, I would much rather continue to be silly and, you know, support my friends and all the all the fantastic people who I think deserve support. Okay, so we've we've had great luck getting whitefish and uh, bass and the uh, gold eye, one of the new fish. But whatever this other one is, it has so far proved elusive. Wow! Wow! Two hours and one whitefish. It's rude, frankly. And it says, yeah, yeah, it, 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 you're, you're absolutely right there, Mel. It's just... I, I am at that age where it feels like the... Uh, it feels like you know trying to change careers could be, or you know, change uh, change professions, I guess, change career paths. It feels like that could be a little dangerous, because I I have I have spent years trying, and every time I do, the response from the hire, people doing the hiring seems to be, well, aren't you just going to go back to newspapers? Well, I mean. If you don't give me a chance, yeah, because that's the only other thing I have going for me. And then when they when they offer the job to someone else, well, I, I have to go back to newspapers because it's, it's it's that or fast food. But as, as I say, I'll, 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 I'll figure it out one way or the other. Um, and, you know, if I, I, honestly, if it if it wasn't for the political situation here, this would actually be great. I said there, I, and it's got like good, affordable mass transit. The food's fantastic. Um, you know, it's a major you know, uh, hub for aviation. So. It's easy to get to other places if I want to go other places. And there's usually enough interesting things happening here to where if I don't want to travel somewhere else, but I do want to go out and, you know, out of the town and do something, you know, there's usually options there. It's just for, for whatever reason, you know, it's, uh, I don't know for whatever reason. I know exactly the reason, but yeah, this is, uh, you know, turned into something of a, a geopolitical hotspot. And if I was any other, if I was any other nationality, let's say, it would, it, there would be far less of an issue. But, you know, I got the passport I got, so, you know, what are you going to do? You sure did, Astrid. You sure did. There it is! Finally! A fresh burbot. A bottom-dwelling freshwater fish can grow to impressive size. This thing's almost five kilograms, I should say so. It's even got itself like its own little kind of kind of a goatee or yeah yeah it's a little little, little uh, facial hair going along with it. Awesome. I I'm 
I am so delighted, I am going to immediately cook it. There you go. A firm and buttery white fish. Yay! Need you to go there. You're going to be next up. I'll drop you over here. There we go. And how long is that going to take? Oh, not that long at all. Yeah, look at that. Almost 2,000 calories from one pe from one fish. That's some good stuff right there. And as I said, we will we will grab the bass. Go ahead and cook that up too. That's like 45 minutes. Oh, and and now now they're coming along like London buses, of course. I'm not sure I can carry much more. go oh yeah let's also yeah we started out with one liter of lantern fuel now we have 1.3 okay not not that hot admittedly but you know it's it's a third of a liter of lamp fuel that Astrid didn't have earlier And yeah, it, uh, the uh, honestly, like the the gold eye are so small, it all it almost kind of doesn't feel worth it to cook them. Although that's that's probably not a the best idea. Uh, not easy new generation. I, yeah, I hope so. And yeah, it, you're, and you're you're right, Mel. That you know, the uh, you know changing jobs changing careers it, it is it's way more uh i guess accepted now i, I, I think it is anyway, that than it was in years past because i know when, when i was starting out like when i was like doing like the they had a like, old you know career orientation uh type stuff in high school back in the 1990s one of the things that i always heard was you know Employers don't like job hopping. They want to see you commit. Well, one, they, I mean, bully for them. Too, but it's like, it's, you know, it, yeah, you know, being able to commit to someone would be nice. But then again, like, if they're not going to commit to you, and it's pretty clear modern employers won't, especially if it suits their bottom line, you know, what? Why would why would you commit to them? Okay, we're down to an hour and a half. And now we have fog. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was hoping we get at least one blizzard while we were here, but so far we we had we've had fog, we've had an aurora, but that's about it. Okay, well, let's have to, you know, really commit to this. Let's let's see what kind of haul she can get. We, we, we give her a full four hours of fishing. Okay, started off slow, got better at the end. Yeah, is it? 
it, I, okay, if you look like... Yeah, something is trying to clip through there. I don't know if that's ice, or it, it almost looks like, you know, like the same kind of behavior as grass. I wonder if I can drop any of this here. Looks like 22 minutes. Must not have been a very big bass. And the way this guy is instantly cleared up after all that fog, and the way it's turning red at sunset, tells me we're probably going to have another aurora on our hands. Gosh darn it. Just, I mean, I, I know, it, it's... Wanting an aurora does feel like, you know, begging for trouble, but still, I mean, we're... we're or you're wanting a blizzard, rather. If you want an aurora, you know, the game's got us right there. The game has got us covered. Feels like night is coming. Mm, excuse me. Okay, I think we'll we'll call that good. We got four hours. Okay. Start more water. Go hack, hack, hack. Oh, uh, what do we got? It's a slit race. Oh, well, hello, slit and friends. Welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate that. Welcome in, slid. Welcome in, friends. How's everyone doing? How'd your stream go? Let me get rid of Astrid's little, little stinkiness right here, and let me give you a good and proper welcome. There we are. Okay. But thank you so much, Slid. Hope your stream went well. So what sort of what sort of shenanigans did you get up to? Uh, so you're playing XCOM. Ooh, nice. Okay, a little, little, little bit, little bit of a naked bedtime there. All right, there we go. But good to see you, folks. Uh, for those of you who came in with Slid, and you, you don't know me, first of all, hi. Uh, I am Trooper Barry. I call myself a uh, long dark slash variety streamer. I do about fifty percent long dark on this channel, and then fifty percent other various and sundry indie games. Uh, right now, you are catching us. Uh, this is Achievement Astrid. She is the character I am trying to get to 500 days. The last achievement I have yet to do on Steam. And we are so far. We have survived 298. So we are just short of being 60% to our goal. Which should give an idea of just how much of a slog 500 days is, as if you didn't know already. But welcome in, folks. And hey, Cal, good to see you. How you doing? How's your day going? Uh, and what is that emote? Oh, Cal. Oh, Cal's lurking. Okay. Well, appreciate the lurk, Cal. And let me give you, give you an, a nice nod as well, since you decided to join us. But appreciate the lurk, Cal. Hope your day is going fantastically. Mm. So yeah, what uh, what we're doing here? Um, no, in the think they should long dark stream just now. prior to this one. So uh, we got Astrid no. to uh, we we found the last of the. Uh, pepper caches, which we were looking for. We found the one in Ash Canyon, which is just way out of the way. 
And we also found the last of the unique recipes and then made the last of the unique recipes. Ranger stew, in this case. So, and that, that you know, we started that trip at the, at, at the airfield. We actually doubled back. We, we went through all the zones a second time because we, we've already done uh, Faithful Cartographer with this character. So we are, we're kind of stretching to find the things for her to do while keeping going. And with that in mind, one of the things I wanted Astrid here to do, uh, we, we caught the two new fish that got added, the, the two new saltwater fish that got added. Uh, the Red Irish Lord and the Rockfish, but we hadn't yet caught the freshwater ones, so that's why we came here. And so it, it took us a while, but we did catch the we did catch the burbot, which it kind of it looks a little like a gar, but I, maybe they're related, maybe they're not. I don't know. I'm not a fishologist. And we also found the gold eye. And there, there's a ton of them, and they're, as you can see, they, they're like 500 calories. They are, they're, they're, they're little, little itty bitty things. Honestly, what they probably are should be, they should be bait fish. Because they don't, they don't do a whole heck of a lot for you, I guess, beyond, you know, uh, you know, there's some calories, and they do give you the cooking oil, but that's about it. So yeah, we, we have accomplished that here. Um, honestly, I think what might be next for Astrid, as we're marking time either, well, we're basically marking time until the, the update drops in the new zone. But I think one other thing we might have her do is start chasing down some of these other things. Like, apparently we missed a, either a memento cache or a memento note somewhere. We might go hunting that. Um, we could go looking for Polaroids. Polaroids seems decent. And then, um... Yeah. Now, as far as the transmit, this this says undiscovered. I, I am almost certain this is referring to the one in Blackrock. I think there's a transmitter attached to the, uh, what is it, to the substation. So we might go and repair that as well. For, I mean, for no real reason. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's, I mean well, there's no real reason. You know, for one, you know, it, it, it's another, I'm a very task-oriented player, as you might have surmised, but, you know, it, it keeps Astrid moving, it keeps me focused, and, um, maybe, when the, when the new update, and when, when the, when the tail connected to the new update drops, maybe we'll be ahead of the game, I don't know. So yeah, yeah. This little bit of Astrid's new to-do list appears to be done and dusted. I'm okay with leaving some of that firewood. How are we for stickage? Twenty-two sticks. That is enough. All right, we got an hour left on that fire. Here's what we'll do. We're gonna do one more round of fishing with Astrid. Uh, we'll have her make just a... No, we'll make a liter and a half, just for funsies. And then we'll fish for one hour. Okay, that was not great. God. One inky dinky fish. Okay, alrighty. Well, I tell you what. 
How much water do we have on us? Too much. Not all of which can actually go in here. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, well that's actually fine. Three liters is manageable. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the... We'll actually, we'll, we'll move these back to Camp HQ. Just, just because I don't want, I don't want Astrid wandering about when, you know, she is exhausted and she's losing condition. I mean, it, it, getting from here to Camp HQ, not hard, but, you know, if we are trying to, And if we're, if we're going for long-term survivability, sometimes you just have to, you, you, you got to know when to push, you know, when, when to go out against your instincts. And sometimes you got to know when to just lay down and have a good sleep. So that's what Ash is going to do. There we go. Ooh, 299 days. Okay. One more day and we are officially, again, 60% of the way there. Uh, yes, that is my cooking pot. Okay, we're going to make sure to grab that. There we go. Now, it is, it's like, 10 a.m. or something, but let's let's be honest. Astra's earned a, a full sleep. You know, we we did one of the reasons we went and did this is I mean she she's been traveling all over. She just got back from Ash Canyon, which is a you know a quite a hoof. So I thought, you know what? Let, let, let's let her have a nice relaxing bit of fishing. There you go. And yeah, we, we got a, we got an extra half a liter of lantern fuel from all that nonsense. There we go. Oh, right. Let me grab... Yeah, we'll take our coal with us. Alright. Oh, yeah. We got any... I know I saw crows over here. There we go. I see. It'd be weird for crows to be there and not drop feathers. Yeah. Yeah, there, there were multiple wolves parked outside of that fishing hut when we first got here, and rather than always have them, having them hovering around and I, I and I was like probably making a play for Astrid's fish and having to chase them off while we were fit, trying to fish and cook and whatnot you know just we'll make the neighborhood a little bit safer fishing is relaxing yeah you're absolutely right I, I, and as I say I was I was hoping for a blizzard for, for one reason and one reason only. Um, we are about 90, I think according to the game, we are 97% of the way to the, uh, to the f filling out the blizzard walker feat. And I haven't completed a feat in some time. But yeah, like, like, that's ninety-seven percent of the way there, and you, you got to be outdoors during blizzards for I think the equivalent of twenty days. So you figure, you know, a day-long blizzard should be fine? Question mark. I don't know. Anyway. 
But as it turned out, you know, my, my, you know, Mystery Lake weather was, it was the Mystery Lake weather we know and love. You know, comparatively gentle. But that's fine, so we can, we can just go elsewhere. And honestly, I think I have a, I think I have a pretty good idea where. Oh yeah, let me check real quick, because I know I was talking earlier about the Polaroids. Also, that one appears that uh, appears to be. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. Yeah, this, yeah, th th this one we got on the way out of Ash Canyon. Yeah, that is that's the Wolf's Jaw Overlook, which we did not map. We'll probably have to go see about that. That's obviously Black Rock. I mean, it actually says Black Rock Vista. So, <laughs> oh, actually, actually, yes. Yeah, so it says Timberwolf, Pleasant Valley, Mystery Lake, Ford Muskeg, Mountain Town, Hush River Valley, Black Rock. Yeah, those two just say Great. Bear Island. Oh, okay. So I wonder if before you go to that Vista point, it's just it's just generic Great Bear Island. But I think once you get there, then you actually match the sh then match the shot to the location. Uh, also, that seems like way more. That seems like way more text than what a shot can't believe we got up there. Well, now I'm curious. Right. Well, uh, okay. No, actually, there's a way to check. I'm pretty sure. So we... So yeah, it, I think we should. I think cause, yeah, when you get when you get the uh, when you get the Polaroid, it should say on your map where the Vista location is. Like for example, cash cash. Um, well, actually, let, let, let's go let's go to Ash Canyon. Or is it, is it Black Rock? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. We we found the one in Black Rock. Okay. Hint. Cash. Oh, maybe maybe it doesn't. Uh, no, no. Okay. There, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So so it tells you you get a little, little you get that little Polaroid where it should be. So somewhere in one of these maps should be a little Yeah, there, there should be a Ah, there we go. Okay, it's in Forsaken Airfield. Aha. And I think that yeah, then that is the uh that's the not not the island cottage. That's that's up here from the from the airfield. That'd be the other one, the one that you get if you like if you like follow the road out and around. The one with the secret location. And honestly, I think the the view from that might even be better than the one from the other cottage. And that's saying a lot because the view from that cottage is pretty good. Okay, how many arrowheads do we have? We have six. Tell you what. Because it is slightly late in the day, because obviously Astrid got, you know, she, she, Astrid got her lion. So, well, how many arrows do we have? I have 19 pristine arrows and two more that are mostly okay. All right. Well, maybe maybe we don't need to make more.
cocktail. We'll, we'll just split that stack thusly. I will take five down just in case we need to do bedroll repairs. And obviously the tools don't need to go. There we are. Uh, back which way? Uh, we did. We did end up catching the uh, the two rare fish, Oliver. So our our goal for coming to Mystery Lake is done. Do you have enough flares, Mel? Melifer. You can never have enough flares. I mean, yes, I'm I'm carrying a kilogram and a half of flares. Am I am I going to drop any of them? No, no, I am not. And why you might ask? Simple, because we, against my better judgment, we're going to go back to Black Rock. We're gonna go to the uh, we're gonna go to the substation, and we're gonna fix that transmitter, and then how we do? Yeah, and then all the way back, we'll stop in Ash Canyon, and then we'll go to the uh, the Wolf's Jaw Overlook, and we'll get that Polaroid. The one of the airfield, eh, we'll see. Okay, so we, we have we have some feathers. Although if we're not gonna be taking arrowheads, why would we take feathers? Especially forty three of them. Okay, that's actually a fair shout. Not the feathers are that heavy, but you know. Okay. Yes, torches, and we'll, we'll have some fire hardened arrows for use. We got sewing kit. We got some backups. Uh, the bow is in okay condition. The tools are okay. The Yeah, the, the hatchet could use sharpening. Or actually, do we just have a better one? Okay, we'll just take that one. And we got flares, we got pot and skillet. We have some traveling food. Clo Wait, what? How? How the hecking heck? Oh, the wolf struggle, right. I forgot. Yeah, that somehow, somehow the wolf actually got to Astrid, despite her loosing the arrow before the wolf got an attack range. How that happens, I don't know, but it did. Okay, so there's a little bit of repairage to do. That's perfectly fine. Okay, yeah, we do have daylight. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, those are all fine. We got matches of plenty. We got some. Yeah, we got meds. What did we? Oh right, yeah. Um, where did I? Yeah, I stuck them in here. Yeah, if, if we're going to Black Rock, I do actually want those. Just in case. And we'll take that. Yeah, we'll actually take all of those. That's fine. Yeah, that the fire striker can stay. Um, yeah, because worse comes to worse, I would like to be able to make the... Uh, where's the prepper pie? Yeah, the prepper pie. 
So we got we got the we got the acorn grounds, got the reishi. Uh, we we got an extra burdock root sitting there. That's fine. We need oil and salt. Um, this will come in handy. So we got a thing of salt. Was there one that we used? Nope, nope. Those are peaches. Okay. Oh, we still have some canned corn. Nice. Okay. Take the burdock root. Take the salt. I'm going to grab the cooking oil, and then I'm going to turn right around and drop most of it. We'll keep four. There. Okay, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, so we can actually make another prepper pie if we want to. And the reason we want to do that, despite the uh, reduction to your max carrier weight, is it heals you for 25% HP on the spot. Which, especially if you're wandering to a zone that has timber wolves in it, is something to be appreciated. Yes, Astrid, I noticed your thirst meter was almost half empty. How dare I? Let me take care of that and you right this second. Okay, so it is late, but Astrid got a late start to her day, so it balances out. Uh, with Black Rock in mind, we're going to make our way, well, first to Pleasant Valley, and then Timberwolf Mountain, where <laughs> it, it, it's probably good that if, in case uh, Damsel is not still in chat, because if, if the site of our forward operating base in Camp HQ, Horror Fighter, Mountaineers would absolutely make her flip her lid. But again, she's not... Oh, uh, hopefully she's not here. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> um, let's, let's just say it's a little more lived in. Now, it's, it's not gruesome. I want to say that. Uh, honestly, the... I think, like I said earlier, a large reason for the level of mess in Mountaineers is the fact there is... No, okay, well, okay, there's two places you can put stuff. There's a workbench with a drawer, but the drawer has a max capacity of five kilograms, which isn't that much. And I, th and I think there's one... There's, like, a cupboard in the floor... And that is basically your only storage solution. And once that fills up, you basically just gotta, you know, strew stuff about the floor. Uh, okay, but it's still considering you have to clarify that. Stuff. Well, I, I didn't, I didn't want Damsel to get the to get the like like we had. We have like taxidermied animals, or you know, it's, it's not like a scene out of Dexter or anything like that. Excuse me for a second. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. Okay, one wolf there. If it's just the one, we should be able to just go up here on this hill and slip by it. Because... <clears throat> Wolfie! Wolfie! I want you to live! I just want us to go our separate ways. But no. You had to come and get all up in Astrid's business. And I'm only being halfway facetious. I do just want to keep her moving. So, we're just going to engage in a little walking of the dog here.
for those unfamiliar. Um, so that, that wolf there has, quote unquote, locked on to us. So is going to try to stalk us wherever we go. And the, the game helpfully adds this uh, lovely pursuit music to, kind of, to try to heighten the tension. And it's annoying, and, and it, it, there is there is a certain danger to it. But the silver lining in all that is that only one wolf can be locked on to you at a time. So as long as that doggo there is still harassing us, any other wolves whose paths we might cross are going to ignore us. Thus, the walking of the dog. Yeah, the yeah the pursuit music, Mel. It's it's what it's one of my least favorite things. Also, is that a oh, that's a rifle shell casing? I don't want that. Yeah, it's. I mean, I, I mean, the, I mean, you know, Hinterland do say that you know we 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 don't want we're not necessarily striving for realism. We want to give the players an interesting set of choices. Well, okay, but I will just you know speaking for me. This music really does annihilate any kind of immersion. Because when it happens, like I mean, there's a there's a soundtrack to the game, and it's a really good one. But if you know if, if a wolf or a bear, I suppose, ever does lock on to you. It immediately cancels out the soundtrack, and it starts just, it starts playing that music. Okay. Oh yeah, that, yeah. This is uh, this is the interior of the of the Carter Hydroelectric Dam, which, as you can see, has also been uh, a little lived in. We've got our, our backup moose hide here. Oh, hey, Carl Bob. See, I, I'm trying to think you know, what, so what else can we do? To help, as I said, you know, keep Astrid moving, you know, you know, keep her working toward that long-term goal, and more importantly, you know, keep me engaged, keep me on task, rather than have my attention start to wander, start taking risks when I don't necessarily need to, and then, you know, put Astra's life at risk, and. end up having to uh, start this endeavor all over again, which I would not look forward to doing. You just open the wall beside the door. Yes, Oliver, I did. I was, I, I, I was motioning to the left to turn off the lamp, and then I guess Hinterland decided, "Oh, you meant to open the door, didn't you? Here you go." And out, out I went. The out, out I went a one-way door. <laughs> yeah, Hinterland hitboxes doing their usual thing. go love being able to wriggle up that little, little little ledge it's a great time saver also good for an, avoiding annoying wolves
Now, you could keep going. Yeah, there is a way to go actually up and over. Uh, and then go, I guess, straight to the next zone. But, one, I don't know how to do that. And, two, I am not convinced there isn't a kill wall of some sort there. So, again, well, we're not... I choose not to play fast and loose with Astrid's well-being at this time. Hey, bun bun. Yes, run free for you are safe. I, I have cleared out the wolves on the other side of the zone. You're welcome. Now, I'm just curious. Oh, it's getting dark out here. I, I know that this is probably dealing in the realm of pure scuttlebutt, but has anyone else heard talk of when we should expect this next update? Because, admittedly, I, 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 I'm, I might be putting entirely too much weight on a, a throwaway comment by Zach, but he made it sound like it was going to be this month. I think with his, uh, either his most recent 500-day video or the one before that, you know, he mentioned that something about if you're, you know, if you're seeing that if they're. You know, if, if you're viewing this in October, the the update will be coming out later this month. So I, 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 will, I will spare you all my attempt at a Norwegian accent. And I went back and listened again. That, that sure sounded like what he said. I could be wrong. I, I could have misheard, or, or he could have misunderstood, but... Uh, you personally understood by the end of the year? Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking, Mel, but you've also heard end of October. So, no idea. Well, <laughs> Honestly, that's probably where most of us are. I, I, I'm in kind of a weird spot with that, because at, on the one hand, I, I would love some, fre some fresh, long, dark content. You know, a new tale, a new zone... The cougar. Oh, this is for firewood. We'll just, we'll just leave that there. Although, let me move that to a more prominent position. There we go. Um, yeah, th th that that all would be great. It's just <laughs> it it so happens that this is all coming out. I guess if it does come out this month, it, it would be doing so at a time when there's just so many other things coming out. You know, there's uh, you know, there's the long dark update. You know, Dredge is getting a DLC. Uh, Backpack Hero is going to be coming out in 1.0. Um, Slay the Princess comes out later this week. City Skylines coming out either I think either I think officially next week. Oh, there's, there's just there's. <laughs> There's just so much happening at a time when, when we are already awash in a ton of great games. Which is, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic problem to have. It's just, it, you know, if you are a content creator, I don't know how you try to keep up, or even if you do. And, and if you add... You know, you have the long dark update on top of all that. Well, yeah, I get, yeah, Mel. I guess if you're, if that's the if. Okay, well, typical Pleasant Valley. We walk in directly to an Aurora. Okay, now I I did say something about trying to grind the Blizzard Walker feet. But I also said 
we're not going to take stupid risks. Yeah, there are, unfortunately, there are more than likely many blizzards in Astra's future. So, maybe we just do the sensible thing and have her sleep here tonight. Right at the entry, you were warm. Well, let, let, let's let's see. Let's let, let's go verify that. Yeah. Not saying you're a liar, Oliver. It's just I want to. Did I go that? No, we're going the wrong way. Dead gum. Yeah, and we did just repair Astrid's clothes, but you know what? There's, there's still cloth to be found in the world, so it's oh, not the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. And yeah, because Astrid is, you know, she is not exactly tired, so we could have her just hang out for a little while. And if she gets a little cold, it might be tolerable, but you know. You know, you know, Pleasant Valley going to Pleasant Valley, right? So. Okay. Okay, it, it's. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you see, if I turn the lantern off, we lose that, that warmth bonus. Yeah, it still feels like. No, it. it well, no, it feels like four degrees. So, we're. Now it's three degrees. Okay, we're. We're kind of on the cusp. Now it's two degrees. Now it's one degree. Okay. Yeah, that, that's uh, going in the wrong direction, unfortunately. Well, hang on. If I go... No, no. Hang out right here. Okay, no. E no, even if we're blocked from the wind... Yeah, it, it's negative two. Uh, I did say, though, that, you know, we, we could tolerate Astrid being a little cold. And you're right, Oliver, we were briefly warm. Although I think, I think that's the game telling us that the blizzard is getting worse. Oh yeah, no, no, you absolutely did. Yeah, because we were, yeah, we were, uh, even without the lantern, we were, we were warm when we came out. Uh, actually, actually, as long as we are protected from the wind, we could do some cooking right here. We could even make a little fire just to keep Astrid warm. Again, as, as long as the wind cooperates, and well, we all know how cooperative the Pleasant Valley weather is. So we're not going to overcommit and like put a put a full sleeves worth of fire on this, or yeah, a full sleeves full of fuel on the fire, but, you know, just, just enough to kind of counteract things. Okay, now, now we're at positive zero. Hooray! I lo love the whole negative zero, positive zero thing. It, it is delightful. Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's, it's actually a, real, a very, you know, a good location. We're, I guess, technically, we are protected on three sides. 
And even if the wind started coming directly at us, this fire is still, it's still, uh, well, it's kind of protected. Can we cook any, cook any of this stuff? Uh, how about here? Uh, we can make acorn bannock, but we don't want to do that. We need those acorn grounds for the prepper pie. Actually, why don't we just make that now? Even if we're not necessarily going to eat it right now. Okay, so passing time, still holding strong. Good to know. We're holding steady at a whole two degrees. There we go. Nice. I think we'll go ahead and hold on to that for now. Let's see, where are we in terms of coffee? We have two coffees. Yes, Astrid, I know you're horribly, horribly hungry. Wish there was something I could do for you, but you know, it's just, times are hard. You know, the post-apocalypse economy is You know, it's, it's rough out there. How far are you from the blizzard bat? Um, I checked before the stream, and we are at 97% progress. So, I guess whatever 97% of 20 days is. Yeah, uh, see, we're 97% of the way there. I think we were 91% of the way to the Fire Mastery uh, feat. And then we were 1% of the way to the Rabbit Trapping one, which I think is hilarious, so I'm, I'm not going to touch that. Because I, I'm just that easily amused. There we go. And yeah, we'll have you do the other one. 48 minutes. We can probably get another... Yeah, will probably get a leader out of that. And there we go. Yeah, three liters of water, pretty much what we left with, so that is perfectly fine. Grab that, grab that, just so I don't forget. Uh, torch wise, how are we? That we. We can see if we can upgrade. Oh, oh, it's getting colder. We're now at negative zero, which is rude, frankly. And we're getting nine degrees of warmth off this fire. So, yeah, it's actually like it's going to feel like negative nine. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And so, like I said earlier, the uh, yeah, and Oliver's absolutely right. It is a good spot because now the wind is actually blowing directly at us, but the fire is still holding out. Hmm. 
what? Oh, okay. I guess that was too far back. There we go. Yeah, so if you, if you get back here, it, it, it said leave Pleasant Valley, even though we were nowhere near the cave. All right. And the winds changed direction again, kind of? Because we still got those flakes blowing in our face as those coming directly at us. But if you look at if you look at the 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 you know the direction the wind's blowing out there, it actually looks like it's blowing you know left to right as we see it. Honestly, it's quite confusing. Okay, we're gonna take a bit of a YOLO nap, just the one hour. So if the weather does turn on us, we can still get Astrid inside without suffering too much damage. Oh, oh, look at that. Another another 50 minutes and we're actually be fine. Although the blizzard has now stopped. So, when we wake up, we should officially be over the 300-day mark. Let's see. Yeah! 300 days. It's only 200 more to go. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, but now I think we will. We, now we will do the sensible thing and give Astrid an actual sleep in actual cover. Hey, thank you, Fever. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Oliver. Yeah. And yeah, for someone who'd only had like one run even make it to triple digits before this, before setting off on this little journey, is it, it is uh it's a pleasant surprise being able to not just you know, to maintain a run like this. Although uh, I guess the uh, the maintenance doesn't necessarily stop, now does it? Because we still we still have so so much work ahead of us, but at the same time, we owe it to ourselves and to Astrid to we we, we acknowledge the work ahead, but also celebrate the victories we've had. And also, ooh, look at that sunrise. God, the, the game has no business looking this good, and yet it does. Actually, I will take the charcoal there, because we... Astrid does have some mapping in her future. Okay, there we go. Now... Let's get Astrid down to the road. And I think what we'll do, last time we took the uh, we took the Black Rock entrance from Timberwolf Mountain. Well, let's say, do we want to do that again, or do we want to go in through Keeper's Pass? Because the, the entrance from Black Rock would actually... Well, one, it takes us through bear territory getting out of Timberwolf Mountain. But it also drops us you know, farther away from the substation than we would be if we 
came in the other entrance to Black Rock. So much as I would love to show uh, Damsel and Fevers uh, my collection in Mountaineers, I think in in the interest of expediency. And just like uh, getting in and out of Blackrock with a minimum of fuss. Let's, yeah, let, let's go via Keeper's Pass. And for the for the non long dark people here, uh, the reason Blackrock concerns me so is largely because it is one of the two zones in the world that have timber wolves in them. And timber wolves are generally bigger, nastier wolves that always run in packs. And whenever one of them sees you, it lets all its friends know. And worse still, unlike regular wolves, uh, timber wolves don't mind being out in a blizzard. So there is the very real chance you could be, you know, trying to, you know, grope your way to shelter when they get caught in a blizzard and you get jumped by a pack of timber wolves and things just go from bad to worse. Now, there are ways to deal with them, of course. We uh, we demonstrated several of them last time. Um, running and hiding is a perfectly cromulent approach. Because Hinterland has yet to teach any of the aggressive wildlife how to open doors. Uh, you can just up and shoot them, too. Which is... Slightly riskier, but also much more satisfying. If I do say so myself. Alternatively, if you want to disperse them without inflicting violence upon them, the other way is to make a, uh, make a campfire. Make sure it, it stays lit, you know, so it's not... Uh, it doesn't get blown out by the wind or anything. And you just chuck torches at them until they run away. Because if they, if you throw a torch at them and, and it hits them, it has to hit them, it will, you know, it, it will reduce their pack morale. And then you can use, you can use that to basically drive them off. And we're going to go to Keeper's Pass, but just real quick, like, I want to go to the farmhouse and just see if we got any food sitting out there. I feel like there's meat sitting outside the back door, but I don't know that for 100% sure. Oliver, runaway is always your go-to. That That is perfectly sensible. You might not always do it, but it's your first thought. No, that, that, that's... That's probably the most efficient... Or the, uh, the most, excuse me, sustainable approach. Because you're... <laughs> You're not always gonna. Let's say if you're, if it's windy, or it's, or you don't have any uh, fuel for a fire on you, the torch pooping method isn't necessarily gonna work for you. And if you don't have the ammo, or you don't have the aim, because you know, uh, timber wolves are tricky to hit. They they do like to dance around, and it's much harder to hit them with, uh, say, a rifle. You know, you, you might... Aggro might not be an option. Okay. I... Am I remembering someone else's playthrough? It's entirely possible. I probably am. Yeah, there's no... Or maybe I'm remembering my Loper run. That could be too. Yeah, 
Yeah, because there was no big pile of food sitting outside. Man, I could eat anything. Well, just hang on, Astrid. I'm trying to... Well, you did say anything. So, here's some, here's some good old dog food for you. Uh, do hip shots scare them off with a revolver, like into the air, like you can with normal bulls? Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think I, if, if they've if they've locked, like if 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 the, if the morale bar is there, pretty sure that's not. Yeah, pretty sure that's not going to run them off. Now, if 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 it's before, if if they haven't spotted you. That then it might then that might work, but I haven't. I don't think I've tested that to know for sure. Although I, I will say, my my experience with uh, with okay if if that if yeah if the noise of the revolver can spook an aurora wolf that hasn't seen you. I should think a, a, I don't, a timber wolf that hasn't seen you shouldn't react that much differently. But as I say, I, I'm drawing on pure conjecture there, so... Don't uh, don't don't base any run to finding decisions on that alone. Okay, so no, no big stack of food there. That's well, it's not fine, fine, but we'll 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 manage. You know that was character. Oh no, I think um, I as far as I know, the only thing that gets drawn by the sound of of a uh, gunfire is the bear. Yeah, like the the herbivores all run, the wolves will run. Pretty sure, as long as, as long as you're not within charging distance, even the moose will run. It'll ha it'll have a, a a stupidly delayed reaction, but it will run. There's usually three or four wolves patrolling the orchard over there, so not seeing any of them there, it, it, it is a little bit suspicious. Uh, shooting at a bear is the only way you can get him to come? Okay. I mean, that is one way. Um, you can... You can't use the sticks, so you use the one-two mechanic instead. Um, are you collecting rocks, Oliver? Because, like, you can... I think you if you, you can lure a bear closer to your location by... You know, by throwing rocks in its vicinity. Oh, first shot draws, second shot scares. Okay, I see. Well, I guess, if, yeah, if... If you, uh, yeah, so it, it, maybe if you were to say to chuck a couple rocks, that might save you some ammunition. Okay, so my memory is that I think, yeah, I think we did take down a wolf in Keeper's Pass South. And there's, so there should be some stakes sitting outside the trailer. So maybe we can top up Astrid's uh, tummy that way. Because if not, well then we'll, I mean... If that's not the case, there uh, I think uh, enough time has passed to where 
there should be some respawned wolves in Keeper's Pass South, and we can uh, we can handle them that way, and just make Astra some fresh wolf steaks. Uh, you hold up in a sniper a sniper nest. Oh, one of the uh, hunter blinds. And you make sure your first shot misses and he comes wandering face first into your sights. Closer when you call the crash, you let him get as close as you dare. Make sure to shoot before he sees you. Might be close enough for one shot, but if not missed, you, you will thus run, thus keeping you safe. Okay. Well, it certainly sounds like you got a plan there, Oliver. So it, it, if it works for you, then, then abondanza. That, but the that strat does work for you, I hope. And I guess if you, even if you're just landing one shot, you know, the, I, uh, I mean, I say, I was gonna say, you know, the bear should bleed out eventually. But I mean, if all the mechanics around animals were doing what we thought they were doing, then yes, the bear would bleed out, bleed out eventually, and you get yourself a nice wolf coat or a bearskin bedroll. But I think, as we also know. Mechanics around animals do not always do what they what they're supposed to. Also, Kazumin, Isashibari, so good to see you. How are you doing, Kazumin? Let me let me give Kazumin a good and proper welcome. My fingers will cooperate. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Good save, Kazumi. <laughs> yeah, Kazumi's been playing a lot of Seven Days to Die, and she has been doing it on, like, Nightmare Insano mode with like super duper souped up zombies and she's doing well so if you if you want to see some top tier seven days to die gameplay go watch kazumi <sighs> yeah i figured he'd be waiting right there but good to see you, Kazumin. I hope you're doing well. Uh, are you? Okay, you're, you're going around the, the truck there. All right, come on. Do your thing. Yeah, do, do your freaky pathing. Seriously? This thing's gonna make off with my arrow. So do I don't have any bandages? I do have bandages. What? Add those to the radial. Gosh darn it. Okay. And what did that do to her clothing? Um. Actually, mostly okay. Bedroll. Bedroll's okay. All right. Okay, yeah, that was a health wolf. Uh, been a while since we chatted. Actually, you lurk in the stream, huh? Okay, Kazumin, that's fair, because I will tell you, I, 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 I lurk in your streams as well. So, <laughs> so we're we're even. <laughs> but I appreciate you being here. I I, I hope I hope uh, all is well with you. And please tell how is how are how is uh, seven days to die treating you? Because it okay. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, yes, we do have some wolf steaks. Hooray! Here, let me just grab both of them. 
and then eat them. Lickety split. Okay, let me just pop Astrid in here for a second. Just to make sure I didn't leave anything interesting behind. Uh, wolf pelt, wolf gut, mm, meh. Okay, not so much. That's fine. Okay, so, but a Astrid has a full tummy now, which is good. Is it, is this fog? I think this is supposed to be fog. It's probably fog. Anyway. Yeah, it, but, what, oh jeez, see that we got, we got some of them sassy bun buns here too, it's it, they're clipping through the bridge. Thanks, you, but yeah, it, it's my pleasure, Kazumi. I all, I always enjoy shouting out other people who stream who come through here. As you know, uh, like you know, you know, uh, you know, bigging up other people makes me feel good. And it, it, it lets people in, it, it, just in case people don't know, you know, there's there's so many other fantastic streamers in our community and in, in adjacent to the community. So if I have a chance to shout them out, well, that's. No, crows, 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 so many crows. Yeah, if I have a chance to shout them out, I like to do so. What? Oh, oh, is it? Hey, here's our arrow thief. I'll take my arrow back there, you old arrow thief, you. Surprise that good, he's actually buddy. Oh, no, oh, no. Did I get? Did I just get Nihongo Jozud on stream? Oh no! <laughs> uh, for those not familiar, uh, His Hisashibiri is uh, kind of the Japanese equivalent of long time no see. And I am, I am, I am being, I am being silly, of course. Um, yeah. No, I, I, I thank you, Kazumi. That is very kind of you to say. Um, I have forgotten a lot of my Japanese that I learned at university, but I, I remember a few things. Okay, nope, not, okay, so we're going to have to go back this way to get up to the transition cave to Keeper's Pass North. That's fine. We just got that one jerk face over there. But yeah, it, it, you know, uh, my, yeah, my Japanese has atrophy because like it, the you know, foreign languages, whatever, you know, whatever you learn, you know, it, it they're very much a use it or lose it thing, and since there's not a whole lot of call for Japanese in Hong Kong, well, I have I. I have lost some of my sharpness. If, if I was to go back and take the JLPT again, uh, I wouldn't do nearly as well. You know, if I, if I was halfway intelligent... I, I would keep up studying regardless because that way 
you know, because I, I, I already had one job offer in Tokyo that I turned down, but for for reasons that have been discussed on stream. But if I actually worked hard on my Japanese and got it up to even like a a business level, you know, I I could get a job in Tokyo, which is a great place to live, but get it, you know, have a, have a job offer from a place that. Would it ask me to take a 60% pay cut, let's just say. But on, on the flip side, that would also require hard work and dedication and, you know, good time management. And why would I do that? when I could just stream more on Twitch instead. <laughs> like, invest in myself? <laughs> I say. I think this is the way. Okay, yeah, yeah. As we've clearly been this way, you can tell by the trail of, of uh, burnt out torches. Hey, there we go. Okay, real quick before we go, let's actually take some of this. All that lantern fuel we generated with our fishing and actually put it to some use. There we go. So you're not good listener, you can't answer it. Daijobu, Daijobu. I was just saying I have I have uh, forgotten a lot of the Japanese I used to know. So yeah, uh, was it like Boku no Nihongo o Wasaremashita? Also, hey Goofy, good to see you. How you doing? Class over? Oh, class went well. Uh, yeah. So we we ended up catching the freshwater fish we were looking for. We got the two rare ones. Although, one of them wasn't rare at all. We caught at least a dozen of them. And so... Now, the next thing to check off of our to-do list... Uh, we're actually going to go back to Blackrock, which I know sounds like a terrible idea, because it kind of is. And what we're going to do is... Actually, let me grab that. We need to go through a few cattails. Having some backups wouldn't be bad. Yeah, so we're going to go back to Blackrock, and uh, we're going to fix the... Uh, we're going to fix the... Transmitter? Whatever, whatever the, the little... You know, the little mini radio tower. Because... Yeah, there, there's uh, six in the world. We fixed five. And we got the three from the tail plus... Or actually, the four from the tail plus DP. So... And my memory is the other one is going to be by the old substation in Blackrock.
You didn't know there were more than just the ones there. Oh yeah, there, oh, there's the ones at the tail. You know, there's the airfield, uh, PV, Bleak Inlet, and uh, Mountain Town. But there's also one in Desolation Point by Hibernian. And if my memory is right, uh, the one in Blackrock. Uh, right now, we are... Yeah, we're going through Keeper's Pass North. Uh, we, yeah, we, we, we were in Mystery Lake. You remember that. We went in through PV, got caught in a blizzard, because of course. And then we... And then now we Keeper's Pass South, and now Keeper's Pass North. Yeah, we're not going to stay in Black Rock in Black Rock long if we can help it. Yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna pop in basically make a B line for the uh, for the substation, see what materials we need, fix it ASAP, and then get the heck out. And then once that's done, I think then we're going to start working on uh, Polaroids. I think we're, we found about half of the Polaroids in the world. There's a, there's a hacksaw there. Why is there a hacksaw there? I don't know. But we'll go ahead and take that there. Uh, okay, those... I'll leave those. That's fine. Oh, tomato soup. And I don't... I don't did I put that there? I don't know if I put that there. That is very precariously uh, perched. No. We're just going to keep moving. I am right about that, yeah? Yeah, there's, there, I mean, there's 17 Polaroids in the world. We found nine. So that'll be another thing to help uh, keep Astrid busy for a while. Uh, you said the stream had oh, you said the stream had frozen. Um, I don't, I don't think it had. Um, I I don't see any dropped frames. Yeah, we'll leave the tomato soup and we'll leave the prop deer there. Just in case. You know, in case future Astrid needs some snacks. Oh, you just confused me. You're not speaking when you pick up the clothes. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, I, I was I was thinking, do I grab them and tear them up? Um, because we did we did go through a fair bit of actually no, we have no cloth on us at all. But that's fine, we're gonna get more. Excuse me. How are we? Okay, we're... All right, yeah, we, we did do a round of repairs. So, that might, that might explain part of it. Yeah, thinking. Dangerous thing, thinking. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure, you know, do we... Do we grab it? Harvest it there. Then I, I hadn't looked at uh, at our lack of cloth. Okay, I am going to grab these cattails though, at least a few, because we got yeah we we have our we have our lovely prepper pie. But I, I am kind of saving that for an emergency. I think mean, we also we also have stims and birch bark tea for an emergency. So it's not like we're covered there, but you know the the stims have an obvious downside, and the birch bark takes time to work its magic. So you know if you can have something you can eat that gives you a bunch of calories and heals you on the spot, hey, awesome option to have. Okay. 
Okay. Now, we're not going to do that climb. We have gone down there previously, uh, which is worth it. There is, uh, there is something down there in a little nook that does make the, uh, the time and energy expended worth it. At least as far as I, as far as I remember. Uh, it's a long way to sleep for 50 hours. You, Goofy, sleep? Although, I, yeah, you, you did say that this is school year, Goofy, so you do actually embrace sleep every so often. It's, it's summer Goofy who, who rejects sleep. go. I do not like those rope bridges one bit. I'm just going to put her head down and power through. Uh, guess what? You have you have homework. Hooray? But you don't have to get to school until 11 tomorrow. Ah, okay. Well, I, I, I assume that homework is not due tomorrow. Or maybe it is. If it's due tomorrow, now would be a great time to start. If not, hey, procrastinate. <laughs> I, I, I fully support that kind of life choice. School Goofy needs sleep, otherwise she's crabby and brain no function. Sure, sure. Math was supposed to be tomorrow morning, but it was this afternoon. Ugh. Of course, it's due tomorrow. You have already procrastinated for two weeks. Okay. All right. So, okay. If that is the case and it's due literally tomorrow, yeah. Probably better start. Oh, you did? And your teacher, it's crap like in a. Wait, your teacher said your work, the work was crap, or like in a review? Gotta love architect. Oh. Well, that, I mean, okay. I mean, on one hand, I can understand, you know, wanting work to be of a certain, of a, you know, of a certain quality, but you don't just... You don't just roast your students like that, you know. You know, you're supposed to be the grown-up in the room. At least find a way to, to make it constructive criticism so they know what to do better. He showed it to her and was like, I cannot see it. I cannot imagine it. I, I mean, Okay. What's there not to imagine? I, 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 don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't know that that. Oh, it's like a hole in the ground. It's a hole in the ground with a bench. With a woven shade over it. OK. I, I guess they they your professors weren't into that. Hmm. OK. Right. Yeah. Got to remember. So if we're coming out here. The, uh, yeah, the little farm is over that way. There's also probably a timber wolf pack over there. We want to go this way. We also, if we can manage it, want to stay off the road. Because the Timbies do like to park themselves on the road and then wait to ambush unwary passersby like Astrid. So we're going to see if we can avoid that. I do see cattails there, but we did load up some, so we can let them be for now. Okay, there's the tower. Or er, there's the substation anyway. Just got home, so no work for you. Chill for a bit. Good call. Good call. 
Classes from eight to three, and then eight to three, and then three thirty to five thirty. Wow. Okay. Now is that? That seems like like a lot. I mean, I don't. Uh, you know, maybe architecture school in Spain is intense. But I, I, I hope there are breaks in there. That ooh, cloth, nice. Exactly what I was after. Well, not exactly what I was after. Among the things I was after. That's not normal. You had math this afternoon because you can't have it on Friday morning this week. Oh, like the professor not available or is it another another holiday in Spain? I was going to say, yeah, that, that definitely does not sound normal. He had 10 to 50 minute break each class. Two to three hours, 10 to 50 minute. Okay, she's not available, so they moved it. Ah, okay, okay. Makes sense. Uh, okay, here we are. Here is the transmitter that I was pretty sure was there, just did not... That I get my hands on. So let's start looking for repair mats. This tag is getting kind of heavy. We got some scrap metal. That's good. Probably be more around here somewhere. Lovely. Wires. Very nice. Or scrap metal. Nice. And there's scrap metal number five. Cool. So we don't have to we don't have to uh, bust out that hacksaw that Astrid found. Take that. Normally it's like eight to two or three or nine to two, eight to twelve. Then th okay, yeah. I was just thinking back because like now is it like every day, every other day? Because when I did undergrad, it was like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, or Tuesday, Thursday classes, which were a little longer than the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, fuse, lovely. And then that that was undergrad, and then in grad school, um, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was like yeah, you know, three hours a day, but like one day a week. And then there was like there was like the mo the morning session was from like nine to nine to noon, and then the afternoon session was from like one to four. Every day you have classes, and every day you have different classes. Oh, okay, okay. Uh is this uh, th this is stalker Mel? I uh. Well, I, I, I guess I feel, I don't want to say I'm comfortable in Loper. I, I feel more confident in my Loper skills, but again, th again, this, this run, or the, I mean, this character is 300 plus days in, uh, the, lo the, the Loper run right now is like 105. And since we are explicitly chasing achievements, I figured let's just, let's ride this you know ride this Astrid phrasing I will well, you'll we'll ride this train as far as it'll take us okay. more coffee over no no goofy other way around definitely other way around Okay, we got we got the five scrap metal we need. Cool. Uh, we have three wires. Good. We ha uh no, we need we needed two wires and three fuses. Okay, so we're we're, we're most of the way there. That's it. Then. Ooh. You know what? I am gonna actually take those. 
the rest of those can stay. Although, 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 that windbreaker probably needs to go. Just in case. But yeah, we have we have the exact uh, number of scrap metal we need, and uh, we have more than enough wires. So we just need one fuse and a car battery. Okay, yeah, so come on, just uh, Canadian those metal pieces back together. With your epic Canada-ness. Okay, uh, so, uh, wires, there we go. Yeah, you can pretty clearly see the need for three fuses there. Go ahead and leave those behind. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop those too. You know, they'll they'll be right here where they can do some good. So if I was a third fuse, where would I be hiding? Actually, I think I know. I am 72% certain I left, at the very least, a fuse behind at the, uh, at the guardhouse by the, by the jail. So let's go check. Being careful all the while. Oh yes, and also keeping an eye out for a car battery. Uh oh, I did pop the hood here. <gasps> Ooh, and I see a battery. Hey hey. Yeah, I mean, there, there is one by the transmitter, you know, in a sense. But yeah, 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 there, there usually is. I think, as I understand it, the only, the, um, yeah, I think, um, Milton is the only zone where there isn't necessarily a car battery close by. But again, given the number of vehicles in Milton, it's not that big of an imposition. Yeah, yeah. Um, in Forlorn Muskeg, there should be one in the little bin right by the transmitter. And in PV, well, in PV there should be. It might, it might be in one of the cars if it's not actually at Signal Hill. And then in Bleak Inlet, I'm pretty sure. Sh yeah, there, there'll be there'll be some vehicle there that will actually have it. Okay. Okay. Make sure we click there, because otherwise it's going to reset all the way back to the car, and that would be, not be able to carry this load for much longer. Really annoying. You think in PV years was in the hut? Yeah, I think that's normally where they are. Um, yeah, I think that they're usually at rate at that at Signal Hill. Um, it's what you might. I've seen some people have to go uh, and then go 
raid one of the uh, one of the vehicles in PV to find the battery, but that's those have mostly been the exception. Ah, there we go. There's our there's our other fuse. Yeah, so they they did they did leave everything here. Cool. Now, oh oh oh, I I just reminded myself when you repair one of these transmitters, you also trigger a guaranteed aurora. So I can walk up signal hill that oh yeah most definitely i mean you, you get odds are good you're going to get a couple sprains walking up a signal hill even if you're even without a car battery yeah because that that slope is just brutal and it's not like you're going to climb with with what you know 10 to 15 extra kilograms in your pack okay um So we, I mean, if, if we flip the switch now, you know, we would just have an Aurora tonight. Although we, we could you know, arguably, you know, we just get it out of the way. And then, ooh, ooh. Uh, heck. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I think we're... Wait. That's a roar of music already. I haven't even done the thing. I know, I... Yeah, yeah, I hear it. I hear it. Okay. Game, game's messing with me. <laughs> also, oh, there's a... Is it a cave right there? I think it is. I'm not sure I ever saw that. Okay, yeah, that is an obvious aurora. You know what? Screw it. Hit that bad boy. There. Double aurora. Do you need... I, uh, my thought... Okay, my thinking was I'd go back to the jail and see about the workshop, but I don't know that we actually have that note. I also like the like the thought we have we have thirty seven out of twenty five notes. Not sure how that happened. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah these, these are all from the tails. Yeah, that, that's from the airport. Okay, and, that, and that's the one that started... Okay, yeah, that's also from the uh, airport control tower. High Meadow Mine, going to have to go for the... Okay, no, that's uh, High Meadow, that is... Ash Canyon. Oh, hang on. The, okay, no, they're there. They just got blanked out for some weird reason. Uh, broken to the storm. Okay, no, th yeah, this is from the jail. Okay. 
Okay, no. Okay, so if, if we did go, I, I don't remember going to the mine. If we did, it'll be in here somewhere. Uh, find me at the mine east. And, okay, no, th yeah, this is this is the one that was uh, that would have been stuck by the workshop door. Okay, so going off of all that, I don't, I don't think we actually have gone into the mine this run. So there, if that is the case, there's no point in going to the uh, to the penitentiary because we're not going to be able to get in. So instead, we're going to hang out here, see if we can grab some screenshots. And then just put Astrid down for a nice sleep. And if Aurora Timbies present themselves, just start blasting. Or running. Or both. But I mean, it is in Aurora, so we we are obligated to put Astra in mortal danger and have her hang out, you know, purely in the name of art. Dang it! Although I, I would be lying if I said I wasn't. <laughs> and didn't have my head on a swivel, just in case, you know, certain, certainly growly boys decide to show up. Because as we've seen in the past, they can and will get up here if, if the mood strikes them. That's enough of that. Although, strangely, things are not uh, sparking up here. Hang on, have I never checked that? How have I never checked that? I think I can use this. Okay. How strange. Oh, yeah. Um. There we go. Yeah, I saw, saw the saw the little, little tower pop. Uh, no, those no, no those are that's grass, but. Yeah, flash um No we we have no flashlight. But what I have is some common damn sets. Luke is lovely, but staying alive to loot another day even better. And we, we, as we, we just now crossed 300 days. I'm not going to chuck all that just on the chance there's some worthwhile loot out there. Nuh-uh. 
Let's see, we got let's see, birch, maple, and a hacksaw. Those are probably worth pointing out. No, no memories? No. Well, that's, that's too bad. Okay, here. Oh, there we go. Black Rock substation, one maple, one birch, and a hacksaw. Although we also have a hacksaw at the guardhouse, so... All right. But still, good to know. Yeah, okay. We, I also, maybe one of the weirdest things in the game. If you listen closely, then you turn on the radio during an aura, you hear piano music. Who's playing the piano music? Who's out there to broadcast that piano music? I thought, you know, global society had collapsed. And yet, someone's out there just jamming away on a Steinway. So it, it could be creepy, or it could be a little, you know, it could be a sign of hope that maybe, maybe somewhere out there, there's some, le there's some remaining vestiges of civilization. <laughs> Talking about someone trying to book an appointment. He's in Florida. Asked what time I'm on. He told him, as time is here, he told him 1845. He said, oh, bless you for military time. He just went, Europe. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I, I, honestly, I, I've, I have largely switched over to military time myself. It's just, it's just easier. But I guess not, not everyone's there yet. Okay, what, what am I gonna do with you, Astrid? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and feed you this. Shh. And see, look at that. All of a sudden, our health bar is full again. Because we, thanks to the magic of Prepper's Pie. But yeah, we're, we're not messing with any of that nonsense. Okay, Astrid is not quite fully rested, and it's daybreak anyway, so it's going to be heckin' cold. So we'll go ahead and give her a little bit more sleep. There we go. Now we got something resembling visibility. Now... If I, yeah, if I was of a mind to, like, to, to be a, as much of a completionist as possible, maybe we'd stick around here, you know, we'd, is that the, okay, so the Black Rock Vista site is actually there. We could, you know what, we uh, yeah, th yeah, the, the prison is there. Maybe we could get to that Vista point? I don't know, let's... Well, let's, let's see what the weather is like out there. I wouldn't be 100% against getting that that uh, Polaroid spot, because that, that would be the next thing we're going to pivot to, regardless. But we'll see. We'll see first. Okay, it's uh actually not awful. Not to what's well, it we're gonna we're we're gonna head back along the road anyway because that's that's the way out.
but we uh we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes um obviously hang on real quick I'm just duck in here oh yeah yeah we, yeah we definitely slipped i i would not go pursue a, a polaroid spot you know in in the middle of an aurora that i mean that would be a level of madness even i can't support But no, um, what I am going to do, I'm going to take Astrid back up by the, uh, up, up by the, uh, prison. Because if I'm reading that map correctly, that is where the, that's where the Polaroid spot is. that you told the guy Wednesday when you were not when you were not free on Wednesday. Oh, okay, yeah, def definitely clear that up ASAP because that's uh, you know coordinating across continents is hard enough as it is. And you don't want either of you sitting around and waiting for the other. Yeah, the yeah the uh, the bridge back that way. And there's the farm over there. We actually want to go to the to the big pen, and it is highly likely we're gonna meet at least one Simbi pack on our way. So need to be ready for that. You thought next week Wednesday was the first. Which is a holiday. Oh. See? Three shots and he still didn't go down. Okay, there we go. That was a terrible time for the game to all of a sudden turn into a slideshow, I gotta say. Fuck. Just pick up your fucking shell casings, Astrid. No, they're not invincible. They're just really super chunky. Okay, I am, I am going to be a little bit on edge watching them run about, because as we found out last time we were here, they can be spooked and bleeding and still attack you. Yeah, yeah, I did the same thing to, to one, of, one of them the last time we were here. Yeah, you know, put a couple rounds in them. Their their morale broke, and it, it it was spooked and running and bleeding. But then it ran across Astrid, right? You know, when the when this this road, uh, actually you know comes to the top of that to the of the slope, and then actually goes toward the jail. Um, it actually ran past a deer and then took a chunk out of Astrid. Stop real quick, just to make absolutely sure. Oh yeah, that, there's lots of re lots of reasons to avoid Blackrock. Lots of good reasons. 
and yet here we are. Four of them. Okay, that's bad. Okay. Well, we are warm in here, so that's good. Barely. Oh, buzz off. Okay, let's do let's do a quick check. Um, okay, clothing mostly fine. Bedroll fine. Just give Astrid a quick snack here before we go. If you pass time, will they leave? I don't believe so. I mean, we can check. Nope. Haven't even moved all that much, apparently. Although it is slightly warmer, so that is good. Problem solved. And you see, all it took was just a little nap, a little snack, and a whole lot of shooting. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, boy. Now, I think it's actually up there where we need to get for this, for this Vista spot. do that. Okay, it's been a little while since I tried. Can we... Where do they keep heckin' coming from? There, okay. The Timberwolves aren't Okay, even though our encounter this time wasn't as bad as last time we came through here, there is no way in hell they are functioning properly. That cannot possibly be the case. Oh, apparently we can't just walk through the rest of that limb. That's cool. I think this is the spot. Maybe? Oh, I haven't actually checked there. I'll take it. A flare! Hooray! Oh, wait, have we, have we got this one? I 
Well, I guess th there's one way to find out. Oh, hush, no chickens. That I I'm, I'm not in the mood for your sass. Okay, no, we we want to we want to go over here. And what we heard in the background there was the unmistakable sound of another doggo dying. Although that one is apparently going to run until the heat death of the universe. Want to make a idea for dinner, but no queso. And you're too lazy to walk right downstairs to the supermarket. Well, there's your problem. Okay, maybe, maybe up here? It kind of looks like the spot. Have we actually mapped this? Maybe we have. Maybe I'm just a big dum dum. Well, we can check. Okay, yeah. Although it. It, it feels like I'm missing something, but... I don't know. At, at this point, I'm not... I'm, I'm much less fussed than I was previously. Alright. Let's just get Astrid inside. Usually gives you more... Yeah, I, I was kind of thinking that, Goofy. It, like, it gives you a much... Mapping would usually open up way more, but... That's okay. Well, yeah, we can come back and check when Astrid is not freezing her buns off. Right now, let's just get her indoors, away from all these bug nuts timbies. There's no moose out there, is there? I don't, I don't see one. Okay. Well, unfortunate. But yeah, let's get her indoors, let her thaw out. And it is actually 1 a.m., so this is, uh... This would be a good time to down tools anyway. Because it is a Thursday, and it means tomorrow... Friday. Still got to work. Oh, right. And uh, I'm going to deviate from our usual our usual approach. And tomorrow is actually going to be a uh, yeah, tomorrow will be a uh, alien isolation stream. Because I would, I I, I did some like some non-spoilery uh, just uh, reading on it, and it sounds like we are actually much closer to the end of that game than I thought. Now, it's probably still going to be an almighty struggle. But I think we, we can close that out tomorrow night because I want to have uh, Saturday and Sunday free because uh, there is a uh, there's a game coming out called Slay the Princess. I think it'll come out Friday um, North American time. It'll be Saturday for me, but it looks 
really interesting, really weird, very, very appropriate for spooky season. So I want to jump in on that. I've been looking forward to that for quite some time. And if we and like if we if we wrap up quickly tomorrow with Alien Isolation, we do have some more Steam Next Fest demos we can jump into. So there will be no shortage of content, trust me. But for now, uh, I am going to give Astrid just a quick a quick one hour of sleep to save, and we'll call the stream there. There we go. But as we always do, we're going to close things out by checking the old journal. We've survived for 301 days. Hooray! 60% of the way to our long-term goal of surviving 500 days. And in those 301 days, we have spent five in Blackrock. Also, why am I hearing a bun-bun die from here? That is weird. And in those 301 days, uh, we have killed 337 wolves. So we are got some more. We got uh, more clearance there. So we're still keeping up our one a day average. And 149 blizzards in 301 days. So pretty darn close to one every other day. All right, yeah, thank you, Mel. Thank you, Goofy. And yeah, thanks to everyone for hanging out. Really appreciate y'all. All right, before we go, let's see what kind of progress we made on those feats. Yeah, we're still 91% there. We are 98%. <laughs> we're so close. Uh, do you spend a lot of time in PV? Uh, we spend a fair amount of time in PV. Honestly, like the most time we have, the most uh, time in it is that we had is actually Timberwolf Mountain. I think I think we have like more than forty days there. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll round that out eventually, I'm sure. But yeah, thanks to everyone for hanging out. You know, big thanks to Goofy and Mel. Also, uh, big thanks to Daunt. For the raid, and thank you to Slit Holmes for the raid. I also appreciate Kazumi being here, and Oliver, and all all you chatties. And also, I think I uh, who was that? Also, big thank you to Charizard Revenge for the follow, putting us one away from three hundred, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. So, thank you, chatties. And thank you, lurkers. I know we, we, we've had several folks admit to lurking, and uh, hey, they're nothing to be ashamed of. As I always say, I'm happy to have people hanging out in whatever form they choose. And as, as it, you know, lurkers are the backbone of any Twitch channel. So I appreciate people being here in whatever form they like. But as we always do, we're going to close things out by finding someone to raid. So let's see who's out there doing something fun and or interesting. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who? Uh, oh, actually, I'm a little light on long dark people at the moment. Because, you know, oh, uh, uh, is Slid on again? I don't know about that. Uh... See, Longshot is playing Don't Starve Together. Nog is playing Sunken Land. PT is doing Long Dark. Oh, and Athenon's on as well. Is that... Oh, okay, Longshot started a new stream. I was going to say, he, he was playing Dredge earlier. He'd been on for like 10 hours. That is, a, that is a, a stream of heroic length. Okay, well, it's been a little while since I've done this. Let's go raid Athenon. He is 
yeah, they, I think he he is uh, having his long term loper player, and I think he's spending long. I think a certain amount of time in each zone. I think he's about to wrap up in Milton, so we're just about to catch him as he changes zones, which will be cool. So yeah, folks, if you can stick around for the raid, I'd really appreciate it. Show Ath some love. He's another excellent long dark uh, streamer, and he you know plays a bunch of other games as well. Uh, but yeah, as I say, tomorrow, uh, we're going to close out Alien Isolation, and then all things being equal, Saturday, Sunday, will be Slay the Princess. So, thank you all for joining me, have a great rest of your day, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.